stage match is just about ready. We have Reciprocity going up against Mazer Gaming. And to learn a little bit more about these squads, let's go ahead and throw it over to my, my main girl, Pow, on the main stage with an interview with both teams. Pow, take it away. All right, we have our first matchup of the day, and I have Demo representing Reciprocity. Listen, it is Championship Sunday. I know that you guys may be feeling a little fatigued. You've been practicing a little late. Is that going to affect anything? No, nah, in moments like this, uh, there's no fatigue. There's, there's nothing but just focus on a prize. You know, we know what today means, and we're just going to give our, uh, our best effort. So if you would say, who would be the weakest link on your opposing team over here? We don't like to look at the, like, at the game like that. As a team, we just come into it. We play our game. We, uh, we use our teamwork, our communication, our work ethic, and we let the rest figure itself out. All right. Well, I know, Mazer, your team has been here also practicing late. Do you think that will affect anything? No, I feel like when you want to get the money and, like, that's what we're here for, at the end of the day, you got to get up and do what motivates you. So what are some of your strengths that you guys are going to carry here on Championship Sunday? Uh, I feel like some of our strengths that we're going to play with is our game speed and the way how, like, we take our fights as a team. And not trying to be disrespectful, I feel like we got this match in the bag confidently, though. Do you have anything to say about that? I'll let the gameplay do the speaking. All right, well, gentlemen, shake hands. Let's get this matchup started. And there you have it, two great representatives of each of their teams. Of course, Demo Bout, so outspoken, that's for sure. Uh, that's one word to use to describe. You got to love that. man, Demo. Yeah, yeah. Smoke and get loose. And uh, <laughs> throw smokes and get loose. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <different> <laughs> there. That was a like, Gears War 3 <laughs> term. One word changed the entire sentence. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and then, of course, you have Sneaky, the captain of Mazer HQ. And boy, what a story that individual is. We talk about it often, but if you don't know, a Division One athlete and a track runner for Illinois State University, a full-time student and a full-time professional Gears of War player. And boy, does he does lead by it all. example. He does it all. And him, as an emotional leader for this Mazer roster, the reason why I'm rooting for them this match, I really feel like they have what it takes behind sneaky, strong, home hill play. Yeah, there you have it. Let's go ahead and jump into the predictions, boys. It's Sunday. This is where you got to put your name on the line and put your name to a stake. Belly. Right. Actually, you know what? I'm going to start with... Belly. Sorry, Ryan. I love you. It's going to be Mazer. I just said it for Mazer. Easily, Mazer. Score. Reciprocity, they scored. 2-1. This is going to be a close game. Okay, both of these teams are actually evenly matched. They all have their own strong points, but I like Mazer more because the versatility on this roster, the X factor on this roster is going to be Zena, especially starting out on foundation. Whenever you put a power weapon in this guy's hands, an M bar, a sniper rifle, he always makes plays. And of course, Mazer, former team that plays top eight twice as the Vanquish squad back yeah. in Dallas and Mexico City. They know Zena on the squad. He's a great power hitter himself. Colin, your predictions, your thoughts. Well, boys, <laughs> I always doubted him. I said they weren't going to make top eight. But I believe in Demo Bounce if he All makes right. it to Championship Sunday. And he made it here, baby. Demo Bounce is here, and I believe in him. I got Reciprocity having to take it 2-0 because if they go to Harbor, that's bad news. So 2-0 Reciprocity. 2-0 wreck over this Mazer Gaming squad you see on your screen right now. We already have a disagreement between our two casters, and that, of course, should make things interesting. Mazer HQ on your screen now. You got Sneaky Exclusive, Mortifies, Hezzy, and Xenon. Of course, we're going to throw it to you now, Ryan, your final prediction for this one. Yep, so I have a little bit of a hybrid between kind of both my fellow casters over here. I'm taking Mazer, but I am taking them 2-1 because I do agree with Colin. If it goes to Harbor, that is going to be bad news. Mazer is a very strong Harbor team. To me, like I said, Reciprocity is still not looking quite as strong as we would like to see. They also had a fairly easy road to get to this position. They've seemed very tested against higher-ranked teams, and I've seen Mazer put up a better fight against better teams. So I'm currently taking Mazer in this matchup. Yeah, you got two for Mazer and one for Reciprocity. That's my man Colin showing some loyalty to Demo Bounce on Championship <laughs> Colin Sunday. Lost his Mine. Ryan, I'm going to throw it to you one more time. What can we expect from this matchup as we get the game started? You can expect a lot of trash talk between Sneak and Demo, and you can expect a lot of good team fire. These are two teams that, that like to use their Lancers and have some you know, pretty good organization among them. There you have it. Sounds like map number one is just about ready to go underway. It's going to be foundation to kick things off. Reciprocity versus Mazer HQ will be live in just moments. Soto. Demo, Kenny, Lava, and Vital Sam. Can they do it? You see them on screen. Let's go ahead and jump into gameplay. Reciprocity versus Mazer HQ. Take it away, gentlemen. I, Belly, I am 
unbelievably hyped for this because these teams Let's like to bang it. out. We got Kenny at demo for reciprocity. The House of Bounce is the back, House of baby. Bounce. All right, and kicking things off right here on the main stage, taking a look at the initial round, and immediately the 2v1 exclusive mortifies falls to Kenny and Vital, and all of a sudden, Kenny is coming out of his shell. Two players left alive for Mazer, but what a great start for reciprocity. And look at Kenny already pushing up this top ramp. I love the map control. They're trying to keep pressure on. Kenny goes down there from that Lancer. Vital trying to pick him up. Vital will oh, get no. the pick, but he won't be able to get the kill yet. Oh. So Hezzy, that's a big double kill early. Hezzy stepping up in for his team still. One kill and one down so far. Moving into the B hill with Mortifies as they see another 2v2. But here goes the pierce with two players coming from Fountain Area. They get the down and the kill all off of bounds. Demo, he's out of here. So here we are, Mazer fighting back, showing reciprocity that they still have it in him. But take a look at his rotation. Hey, Sneaky is playing on that home. He's called exclusive over, and now three members barreling down on him at their own home hill. Smoke's gonna come out. You're gonna see Reciprocity get a break, and I don't know if they're gonna try to get the cap because they can't get too many members down right here. This is a really scuffed fight, and Sneak gets the first kill. He opens it wide open, so now I think they're gonna be able to play some defense. The Sneak, strong home hill play from his player. Versatility player, he plays 1v1s, and he handles them well, but for Red against Sam, he's gonna get some pistol help from his long time duo Mortifies. And able to move in and get the kill. But the domination's coming through. You see across the map, Zenith, Hezzy taking control of this a hill with the chunk. Zenith takes out Soto. And that's going to be it, making a statement. 1-0 here in Mexico. Mazer, they're up. So two things I saw in that first round, Bell. Talk Every time you saw Smokes get thrown, you yeah. saw Mazer roll back and then wait for reciprocity to be moving around in the Smokes. Yeah. Little known fact, Sneaky, he's looking at that smoke. When you start moving, when you see the movement, it's yeah. actually easier to see your enemy in the smoke the really? more they move inside of it. So you see them roll back, and then they look into it. They find their target, and then they attack. Mazer Gaming played that perfectly. All right, let's take a look and see what Reciprocity are going to put down over in the Pistons area. They won the initial pretty easily. Mid-game adjustment didn't work so well in their favor, but planning on putting down the incense over in Pistons, so that's going to be something to fight for. Usually we see a 1v1 or a 2v2 in this area, but that fight is going to be rewarded this time around with one of the best crowd control weapons in the game. But take a look at the stats. Kenny and Soto, the only players, along with Sam, Vital Sam, to actually get kills for this roster, we're going to need to see some more. There's a lot of IGLs on that team, a lot of people who have had to play that role in the past. I think they'll be able to figure it out and make mid-game adjustments. We're going to look down here in the Pistons area because the incens are down. Smokes are going to come out. We're going to see who gets the first oh. chance to grab them. But I don't think Demo realizes the flank the is coming. The, the rotation! Flank, they never saw that flank coming, Bell. They capped it down immediately. Demo was moving in for the kill. The sneak and mortifies came in and wiped him out. So, take a look at reciprocity. Kenny and Vital Sam, the only players left. Beginning shot from Top Street from Exclusive, and here goes the crowd control. The Incinates come out, driving Kenny and Vital Sam into the spawn. Sneak picking up a kill, and Colin, this might end early. Yeah, this one might be another one down, but you see, they've got the Sea Hill broken back on spawn now. What I want everybody to realize is that Reciprocity right now needs to do a little bit better of lane control. They need to know I who's agree. coming from where. They're not might be getting the call outs correct, so people are dying to people they shouldn't be. Sometimes it's easy to get caught up in a, the chaos, but you're gonna have to pay attention, paint a picture for all of your teammates, use your comms, and make sure you spot out these players, but this is where the gameplay is going to slow down just for a tad bit. We have Reciprocity, one hill to two. They're down to points, 39 to 47, but you know there's nothing that they have to do to go ahead and run for this other hill next. They're gonna have to learn to pick up kills, rotate around the map, and utilize their numbers. So let's take a look at this overhead map right here. You see how it's a 2v2 in Pistons, a 2v2 there in mid, but now you have a 1v1 on top street. Reciprocity is gonna have to use that number on top street to either push it, but look, uh, Phaser Gaming actually calls out a rotation to go for a 2v1 on top street. So there's going to be a home hill push by Mazer. So Reciprocity is going to have to make a move right here, which they do. They get the B hill. All right, Demo bouncing 1v1 with the B hill being capped. The C hill going in the favor of Mazer. Double home hill setup. And Demo finds himself in an unlikely scenario. 1v2. Hezzy made quick work of him with the help of his teammate. And Kenny is in the size. The former Echo Fox player getting the chance. Now, the sneak in the sights, he's not going to go ahead and challenge that, but with the domination coming through, Kenny, he's going to have to act fast. He has to break this b and with one second left. He's not able to get there in time. That's twice we've actually been on Kenny at the end of the round. He yeah. is just a hair too late getting to his spot. Reciprocity, yet again, is going to have to talk this out. 
lane priority yeah. is a big factor right now. They keep getting flanked, and Demo with zero kills so far in this matchup. I put something down that could favor a team fight. Let him get lost in a team fight. Okay. That drop shot will go down. Now you might be able to get Demo to be able to break that ice for his goose. Right. He's going to be able to break it open, get that egg frying on the pan, and really get some <laughs> kills going. And Colin, we see most of the initial fights go to Mazer as they go ahead and rotate two players, mostly mortifies and sneak into the Pistons area to handle a 4v2, but putting a drop shot in the middle, that's going to change things just a tad bit. Now you're seeing four players circling around that power weapon area in a 1v1 in the Pistons with sneak and lava. Both teams actually sent one member over toward that top street area to shoot down for him. You're going to see Kenny and Vital getting taken out very quickly. Xenon and Hezzy, though, on the opposite side. So this 1v1 for Lava means Ooh. everything. And that's a big win for Reciprocity. It's going to keep them alive for now. Yeah, small victory in a big battle. Lava, the last remaining member on Reciprocity before Demo and Lava comes out of spawn. And in a 1v1, Lava, he's going to go ahead and have to act fast, blocking himself off with his own grenade. He's going to fall, and the domination is coming through. Exclusive. Kenny in his sights. Pulling out his Lancer. Kenny is full red. He's gonna get away. Yes, he's gonna get away just for a little bit, but Mazer with the map control, the slaying prowess, and the points there in the lead. It's time to start wolf packing for reciprocity. You see Kenny trying to evaluate his situation. I think he knows that at least one member went back down into Pistons, but he's trying to make sure nobody can come from that side in yeah. order to break their home hill. So he's playing a little defense. There goes Big Demo in a 1v1, wins yeah. that, and he's gonna rotate out. He's doing what he needs to do. The drop shot you hear it across the map will come out. This is a really chaotic time in this round. Just keep it slowed down, guys. You can still catch up in points. There's no reason to get flustered. Yeah, Mazer utilizing the drop shot. They're able to get a home hill set up, but now on the defense against Reciprocity, looking to take over this CL, able to decap it. Vital Sam on the flank, unable to get a kill just yet. Bouncing around, he gets down. Xenon picks up a kill on Soto, but Reciprocity still holding on. A two to one hill if they're able to continue to capture this lead, but the domination is coming through. Exclusive actually waited inside that foundation so area forever. Yes. Literally been there for at least two minutes, I think, now. Finally rolls out, gets over to the A-Hill to get the break. That's a high IQ play by a high IQ player. Yeah, and the other thing about exclusive, just him when it comes to slaying, he's been a standout player for this major roster, getting sometimes 30, 40 kills a map. If he can repeat that type of success in this matchup, it's going to be hard for Reciprocity to come back. And Vel, we're at that point in the round. Second drop shot, hey. it's right around the corner, baby. You gotta right. get those troops set up. You gotta start getting that positioning. But take a look at the x-rays, the bodies. You see all of Mazer now sitting up for it, but the statue area is going to be occupied by Reciprocity Basoto in a key position, able to call out Sneak, getting the mark, getting the down. Sneak is full red, and he is down again. Great heads up play from the veteran Soto, the former champion in Gears of War, winning the 1v1 against Zeman. And they still are up in points, but they've given up the secondary hill, so the point lead is going to collapse for them here shortly. But if they can get this second drop shot, all bets are off. Yeah, and I love how Soto was able to sneak around uncalled, unmarked, and he was able to make a big play for his team because if he didn't do that, it was trouble, it was reciprocity. They were ultimately stuck in that statue area where they were powerless. They had nothing to do, but Soto has to watch out from his side as two players come down from the fountains, get him down, but it's gonna be up to Kenny. But Kenny make a big play. The extra lance fire coming in from behind. Great That's a great play. rotation, but there's a double down out in open. Vital's gonna have to try, Soto's oh. gonna have to try to make something happen. He's gonna get the first, Soto! he's gonna get the second. Go on, big boy, do it Soto! early in the morning. The old man still has it, and with double lancers out, exclusive, he's gonna have no chance. Mortifies the last remaining member, but Colin, Four players down, four seconds left. This is most likely going to go to reciprocity. That's a great round by them. They didn't let the opening initial get them flustered. They actually took a deep breath, they took a step back, and they told themselves, look, let's get the respawn on the power weapon, let's get the map positioning. And sometimes that's all you need in domination in an escalation game style to get that triple cap and get that round. And how important is that for their Straight to come back against Mazer. Mazer starting off strong, winning two rounds, and Reciprocity able to answer back. And take a look at the dual spawns area. Xenon, he's thinking about Xing it out. I wouldn't be mad at that because Mazer, they've shown that their initial basic strategy around this drop shot has been strong enough, but can they continue to keep it up? now that Reciprocity has round under their belt. I hate, to, I hate to say it, but you also don't want to give a player like Demo Bounce the hammer burst. If you've seen him in the past couple of months with it, he has become an ex excellently an great player with that hammer burst. Block out the double secondaries, keep this at a base strat. You won those first two rounds. You just got to try to figure out what went wrong in that last one. It might have been some rotations, might have been missing somebody getting marked out. So as the smokes come out, you got to make sure you get the marks, you got to make sure you get the shots in for your teammates. 
All right, Mortifies taking that hiatus away from Gears of War and coming back and playing for top six. Able to miss the bounce, gets right back up, takes out Kenny and with the teammate. He has Soto in his sights, and Soto unable to get the double kill this time around as Lava is the last remaining player winning his 1v1 over in the Pistons area against Sneak. That's a great AoE. That's a great AoE uh, incendiary right there. He's gonna throw a second. He's gonna oh. force that one kill. He's gonna get at least one. And look at how much time they're having to waste to kill one member of Wasted Reciprocity. Wasted a drop shot. And they waste the drop shot on him. So resources are being pushed to get that kill on Lava, but we're gonna see if Reciprocity can do it again. Can they come off respawn and do another big team fight, maybe rotate correctly and win another round. But for now, Xenon, he's gonna have that drop shot on his back and belly. He's in a dangerous position overlooking that home hill of Mazer with those two members of Reciprocity coming in. Mazer trying to play it right, trying to play a textbook, bringing out their Lancers and the drop shot coming from Xenon, the power weapon player from Mazer. Able to get a double kill, taking out Soto Last, making the most of the best weapon in the game. Now, with two hills to one, Mazer trying to hold on to this B. You see Vital Sam moving around Pistons, getting his 1v1 win against Exclusive, and the rotation from Xenon has failed him. It's also a 3v5. You still got a few seconds for somebody to come back off spawn for Mazer. So if you are in reciprocity, this is your actual moment to get that map positioning. Because once it becomes a 5v5 again, yeah. you're gonna have to break wherever they are and get that map positioning. They're gonna get this down on Xenon, and I expect them to fly at least one or two members deep at Xenon. Oh. Now, they have number Soto taking out Xenon. You that's see a, the three? That's a long range down kill. It is, you see the three man push. The question is, are they going to go ahead and get this second kill? They seem to back up and sneak. He's making a rotation over towards the B hill. Nobody else is around there. So that two to one hill lead that Reciprocity once had, that's now gone. And this fight is looking like the Pistons are going to belong to Mazer. So even if you know. No one's capping the hill. Yeah, nobody's going to get the cap there because what they're going to actually try to do is rotate out, get sneak on the home hill, or get sneak over on C with the incids because it buys them time. It yeah. buys them insurance because. Right now, Reciprocity is fighting on Mazer's home hill. Demo, though, big double kill. I can't wait to see if he can get this third. Look at the cross come out. He's almost down. Will Demo get this third one? The that would have slide. Those were nice moves and all, but nothing came from the college. It don't matter how good you look on the dance floor. If you can't two-step <laughs> when you got the lady in your arms, it's all over, it's baby. It's all over. All right, Sneak going down, getting taken out by Lava in the A home hill. But take a look at the rotation for Mazer. Now, they're going to focus all of their resources so far. Three players over towards the B hill. These are the only three remaining players with the drop shot coming out. They're gonna have to make a push. Okay. Oh, Xenon taking out Soto. The Beal currently being captured for the domination. Xenon, he's gonna have to go ahead and step a foot in there, but he's gonna go ahead and get down. It's all up to Hezzy in a 1v2 with support weapons out. His health is at full red. He's gonna have to go absolutely big, and he dies. So Hezzy right there made what I call a, he made what I call a little bit of a cobweb play. Your brand's got a little cobwebs in it. So even though you're right there to try to get that first kill on Vital yeah. Sam and save your teammate, Kenny's shooting you in the back and you say, oh, there's somebody shooting me in the back. I might as well go for that. Dust those cobwebs off, young yep. man. Just finish that kill with Vital. Finish the fight you're in. You can't fight them all at once. You got to fight them one at a time. Got that right, Colin. We're tied now. 2-2. Two -two. Reciprocity and Mazer. The strategy wasn't working, so Xenon putting down his favorite power weapon, as I called it in the pre-game analysis, the sniper rifle over in the statue area. And how dangerous is that, man? That's unbelievably dangerous because now you're going to force a 1v1 at Statue. I think they'll probably send Xenon over there to fight that 1v1. Definitely. And if he gets that sniper rifle, he has a clear sight line at that drop. And we all know a clear sight line at somebody trying to pick up a weapon. There's no there's no weapon slide in this game. There's no you gotta stay, Yeah, you got to stand straight up. Your head's probably going to get popped. All right, take a look at the top. You're going to have Demo for Reciprocity fighting the 1v1 for the sniper rifle. He's going to go down against Xenon, so the sniper rifle is going to be in his hands. Vital Sam going into the cup area, challenging his own 1v1 against Hezzy and missing the first shot, but landing the second. Hezzy. Kenny's down. They got to they gotta find Kenny oh. and get to that position because now, again, four dead off the spawn. Yeah. So Lava, he'll be alive. He'll have an incid left to his name, I believe. He'll also have his regular loadout. He's going to have to rotate all the way around, but a drop shot comes in. He almost rolls into it. That was very, very dangerous. Use the incid on your home, baby. Oh, yeah. Lava saving around for his team so far. Winning the 1v1 against Xenon, who was also the drop shot player. Exclusive far in the back, so he was unable to help. So Lava is going to rotate over to the statue area to hold it down momentarily. You had all that map positioning and nobody picked up the long shot. That's a call your coach has to make. Once you start trying to threaten that triple shot, and now you've given it up to Did reciprocity. That to me is, again, that falls on the coach. Coach needs to take a breath. 
he needs to say, hey, look, guys, we might have missed that long shot on this one, but we'll get it. If we have to wait for both weapons to come back, we'll get them both. Don't worry. Colin, have you ever seen Demo Snipe before? Uh, I heard it's not as pretty as <laughs> I am. So it's about ugly as uh, my ex-girlfriend, right? Uh, yeah, just about. Just about. Okay, okay. Close just enough. Checking. Close enough. All right, so Demo bounce with the snap rifle in his hands, right next to Lava, who's also a proficient sniper on this roster for reciprocity. We're going to see if the veteran, Demo Bounce, the House of Bounce brother, is going to be able to pick off the head but they're pretty much in a stalemate, and he's looking to break the ice. And actually, Vital did a lot of their sniping yesterday, so I'm not sure if they're going to rotate Demo over toward Vital to try to give him the sniper, or if they're going to leave it in his hands, because yesterday, Vital did miss a lot of shots. He was very hesitant with it. Kenny, though, team kill on Soto. The triple cap's getting threatened, so now you're going to see people just running around trying to force something to happen. Kenny luckily goes down in the hill and prevents a triple cap, and this round is all Mazer Gaming, Belly. The pinch is happening. Zena coming up on the flank. Demo whiffs the sniper headshot, pulls out a shotgun, and able to be successful in the win. But with the instant out, Kenny was trying to make something happen. So both players from reciprocity in the Pistons area, they're going to fall in a domination. It's coming through for Mazer, Sam, Lava, and Soto. The last one's alive, and Soto able to get the tricky cap. If I'm if I am Mazer, I make the call out right now. We're too far ahead. We only we win with one. We got to play a little bit of defense. Excuse me. We got to play a little bit of defense. So don't worry about them getting on a hill. Just worry about making sure they don't get all of them. Continue to apply pressure against this team. You don't want to turn a little bit too much, but you want to continue to bang out with them. You're going to want to continue to be in their face with shotguns and lancers to make sure that they earn every single hill. That's the only way reciprocity can win this round is with the triple cap. Yeah. And look, there you go, Morty, a little in-game trash oh. talk, a little letting them know about it. You can hear the crowd behind us starting to get into it. The rumbles are starting to come through because as this game, one of our championship Sunday heats up, so will our crowd. And if you can get them on your side, you can get them to start chanting at the other team. Ooh, baby, that's a big mental advantage. Morty is doing everything to get everybody on the side with 16 kills and 11 down so far in only five rounds. But taking a look at Vital Sam, Seeing what he wants to drop here. He's looking to replace the weapon. It's going to be the frag grenades over in the Pistons area, so that won't change much. Rather than an instant grenade, you're now going to have two explosive devices. Taking a look at the stats, Vital Sam on top for reciprocity with 13 kills and eight deaths. On the other end, Hezzy, he's on top for Mazer. Hezzy doing work yet again. We saw yesterday when they were playing Pride Start that he actually put in so much work for them in that matchup to help them take that win. So Hezzy seems to be a bit of a linchpin for Mazer to do what they want. Kenny's going to get that quick pit there on the drop shot, and they're going to have a 1v1 between Lava and Sneak. Oh. But Sneak this time, too good. Big shot over that cover, a little back A action there. So Vel, tell me, when you get when you lose that first power weapon and the second, because it's the long shot and the drop shot are in reciprocity's hands, but you got forever to go in this round. You just step back. No, 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 you don't step back. You're gonna have to go for map control, okay? The sniper rifle doesn't scare me on its own, but Kenny in the drop shot definitely does. So make sure you mark the players, you call out where Kenny is and you stay far away from him. But what do you attack? You attack the opposite side of the map, you call out your numbers and you make your push. And taking a look at the x-rays on your screen, it looks like everybody's going for this A hill. Yeah, they're gonna try to get a two home hill setup, which is not very normal in early foundation rounds. You usually see that on the second half. Yeah. But it is effective in breaking any setup that a, an opponent might have. Look at this though. Two members of Mazer are still holding their home down. Sneak is still alive. Nobody can hit a shot on him. Kenny's gonna pick off Fortifies. There you go. Finally take out Sneak. So with three alive for Mazer in the last round of this first half, it's basically execution. It's a 5v3. Yes, we sir. all know. Use your numbers to keep Demo. your numbers. Picking heads. There we go, the veteran. Looking over at the B site, there's nobody there currently from Mazer in his sights. Mazinin, now vulnerable just a moment as he's running over to the opposite side of Pistons, looking to help his teammate. He's gonna get down from Lancer Fire to a Soto moving in. This is gonna be a pistol fight. And Soto drops the body, gets him covered to reach in his health just a little bit. Vital has to more push in, there comes the flank. Vital has to push in. Vital's gonna be tucked by himself with 3v1. That flank did not come through quick enough to help anybody whatsoever. Vlava might have a down on Sneak, but I don't think they're gonna have a chance to get any kills here. They're gonna have to pick a 2v1. See, they're going towards two separate 1v1s, and that didn't work out for them. Lava and Mortify is able to get the trade, so now that 2v2 is gone, and you're gonna see Soto run away for his life with two players running behind him, Sneak and Hezzy. And you see here with the A-Hill going back in favor of Mazer, they're playing this to perfection. They're not forcing any of these issues. They still have a point lead. They now have the two to one. The drop will be back. And it will go in favor of Mazer Gaming. So now 
later in this round. You're about at the midway point, a little bit past that as you're getting close to crunch time. That's probably gonna be the last drop shot we're gonna see, and that's terrible awareness from Reciprocity. They didn't have the ability to get that map positioning with those two members dying in the open and then all those Lancers coming out, so I understand the rotation now. It's just bad news. Xenon headshots Soto with that drop shot, though. Xenon utilizing a power weapon, a power weapon player for this Mazer roster. Looking for the next kill. Hezzy with his pistol out, trying to get Lava down. Just taking some time. He's missing shots and hitting some more. Able to get the down, cleaning up the kill. But now we're looking at a 2v1. Now a 1v1. Hezzy saw the advantage and he runs in to Vital Sam shotgun. He gets taken out and mortifies. He's going to redeem his teammate. And mortifies that hill break right there, solidifies the round for Mazer Gaming. It doesn't even matter at this point. It's too late. Nobody's going to come off spawn in time. He's going to throw out a frag grenade. So that will solidify a first half lead for Mazer Gaming. They will go into the half. Four to two. And ladies and gentlemen, that's a great lead. That's great. And when we go into halftime, remember the round the respawn timer resets all the way to its possible lowest. And the home hills flip from the, that side where the two gardens are over to the fountains and the welding. So we can see a lot of different setups and strategies right now. Yeah, strategy is going to remain basically the same in order of the initial basic strat bottom, mid here in foundation. But historically, we all saw earlier on in the map. Major Gaming got the best of Reciprocity. Reciprocity, they look good towards the middle, but the Pistons area was something that Mazer simply dominated due to their rotation. So, seeing who's gonna run down first is pretty much a standstill, but Soto, he's gonna be the first in. Mortify is running to the right, and Soto picking up the first blood. Did you see that delayed smoke bell where it hit right in front of Mortify? So when he tried to up A that corner, the hand went over the base, and Soto yeah. said, oh baby, I got you now. <laughs> Great plays by the veteran Soto. Champion once upon a time, and Vital Sam pulling out the pistol and make he slapping Soto, but he was unable to win. Excuse me, he was slapping Xena and unable to win, but Xena picking up the kill, getting this hill over front of the statue area. But the rotation is going to be important. And you see, as they come off spawn, Demo gets the call. Hey, look, we're going to need you to get all the way toward the middle area because three or four members of Mazer Gaming are going to be able to push across the mid map. Look at this, you look through the x rays. Demo's going to have to get this information, and he's got to get it out quick to his teammates. Demo currently being assisted by a teammate coming in from Pistons, awaiting this. Oh, he has a teammate, Vital Sam, to his right. So we're looking at a 2v3 right now, but Mazer scared to push in. There's a little bit of hesitation. There's some hesitation, but it doesn't matter because the smokes will start to come out, and as soon as you see one or two people get stunned, here it comes. They're going to come through that smoke. Oh. Vital doesn't get a chance to even get that kill. That planted smoke will get a stun, though, on all three members. Demo pushes in by himself and doesn't even get a kill. So as smart as that play was, it falls to pieces quickly. It shattered like China glass bell. Mazer, they make it look so simple. And Kenny, waiting, hiding, able to get the shot out, but he was unable to get the kill. But moving into the 1v2, he was unsuccessful. Exclusive coming out with the chunk. And now we're taking a look at Mazer trying to rotate over this half hill. But it's not going to happen with Vital Sam coming up on the flank, ruining this offense. And Soto able to get it down with the help of his teammate. And here goes a big 2v2 fight with the domination. And Soto went looking. He was going to try to back up and try to get an up A. Exclusive, though, doesn't get the chance to kill him. Soto's going to get picked up. He's going to have to try to hold his life here. But he goes for another up A. That's going to not work. And Exclusive, even though he's full red, got both of the kills, they stop. They, they don't get the triple cap no. because the D Hill goes back in favor of Reciprocity. But the Little double home hill there. push was, That's right. was highly successful. It the fact they were able to push perfection. straight through and get both of the hills, that was, that was big, Colin. And it allowed them to get their own home hill so they don't have to keep running all the way across the map to order to provide a little bit of assistance to their teammates. And a little bit of ring around the rose if you see reciprocity is trying to say all, that's all five all, that's all five all now five. kenny rotates back i think kenny's gonna see if Ken, he can kenny knows the flank might be coming they caught out numbers and he knows two players are missing from this push yeah that's brilliant in-game communications lava gets a little trade there with exclusive excuse me demo gets exclusive but lava ends up dying to exclusive so it's still a trade but not between the two players kenny. between the numbers kenny's gonna have to fight this for his life right now but i think he got a little bit of backup here comes another member it's vital so you see vital and kenny bouncing around trying to make something happen sneak pushes in through the hill they're gonna get that double cap again Sam. so the points are still though in favor of mazer uh, they're going to get the break on the E-Hill, so Mazer's not going to have any points. Nobody's going to be accumulating points until the D and the E-Hill may be capped in favor of Reciprocity, which might have been the opening they needed. It might have been the opening they needed because Mazer's going to have to push across now. They're going to have to either cap, they're going to have to get across. They're going to have to get the breaks. It doesn't even matter. Domination's coming through. Kenny Bounce holding on to this F-Hill. You hear the sound coming. This is going to be Reciprocity's round. The only way Mazer can make a comeback is if they capture all hills, which is very unlikely. We're going to have a score of three to four.
that was a bit of a collapse, and my main man Soto looked directly into the camera like, Dead hey, baby, camera. I see you right there. You know you're going to catch the good shots of me. He <laughs> is putting on a show, too, 16 and 15. Beautiful double-double by the veteran Soto. Go on, big man. And he looks so comfortable playing with his old MDS teammate, Kenny. Both of the players making really smart adjustments and getting crucial, efficient kills for this roster. But let's take a look and see what Mazer puts down. It's going to be something that we've seen before. Last half, it's going to be the drop shot, smack dab in the middle of the map. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And that's why the drop goes back down. It was successful in the first half. Let's hope it's successful in the second half. All right, so this is going to be scary for Mazer now because Reciprocity, they have held on to this fight in the bottom middle every single time against Mazer. And if they're able to win this again, we all know the drop shot is going to go into Kenny's hands. Yeah, look at Kenny. He's all the way across the bottom, and he's actually throwing out Lancer Fire. Oh, but Exclusive no. is going massive for his team, and they're going to actually get the pitch demo. So now it's a 3v2 right there in the bottom. They said all five members, and all five members are going to fall. No. So this should be a quick triple cap. This should be instantaneous now. Nobody should be able to get off spawn this is gonna to stop be it. it. This is going to be it. Take a look at your overview head of the map. Somebody's captured the D-Hill. The F-Hill is currently being occupied. With a Not few seconds time. left, you're not, not going to have time. enough time. Yes, he is. Oh, get the Sam first was time. able to get his foot in there. Kenny oh. does as well, but he's going to fall. Here comes Demo. He bounces Zenin. the drop shot Zenin. off of the ramp. Zenin, what shot to Demo these? with kills. Zenin has to rotate. He's going to have to stay right there because here comes another member. They're going to keep the pressure on. It's not a crock pop, baby. It's a pressure cooker, and they're trying to fry him right here. Zenin a little bit shaky with the drop shots, able to get the kill, but now he's going to be taken out of the picture and sneak in a 1v2 in this area. He's going to go down as well to the hands of Vital Sam. Zenin, he blew it. That was a triple cap. But those drop shots, they weren't exactly what Mazer needed on their side. Zenin has to land those if they want to win efficiently. And they're going to see, look at this Vital Soto fighting the members of Mazer off a respawn. They're going for their own triple cap now. They're down in points, but if they're able to successfully get a secondary set of slays, if they're able to slay out right here, they could get this triple cap. Exclusive is still alive. He is so sneaky. He's so good at Whoa. just being a nuisance. He'll finally fall to, to, to Vital. And now Vital having a pistol out at Hezzy, because Hezzy was coming in. But look at that. He loses Zenon in the sauce, and Zenon gets a kill on him. So now Demo is going to have to hope that he can get some help. Hey, the veteran coming in with one of his old Gears 3 teammates. Lava bouncing, he's able to get the double kill. Shout out to Demo Bouncy with the Lancers out and the player full red sneak is not gonna be able to break that hill, but it's gonna be up to exclusive. He's gonna get the momentary break, but one by one, they keep flying in, Colin, and it just does not matter as the domination comes through and we have a tied game at 4-4. They had everything in the grasp of their hands and then all of a sudden it slowly started sip, slipping away. And it all started, in my opinion, with Zenon bouncing that third drop shot off of the ramp. Can we talk about these drop shots, man? <sighs> They're just rushed. They're rushed. That's what I would assume it is. Instead of taking your time, figuring out where you need to put it, especially because you have enough distance that nobody can really head down you right there as yeah. quick as you think. Go ahead, take your time, big man. Figure out the right spot, be accurate with it. And there was a time where he shot the drop shot at Kenny Bounce, now knowing that there is nobody over there but his own teammate. But hopefully, he redeems himself this time around. 24 kills for Zenon, the power weapon specialist. But the Pistons were X'd off, so the fight is going to be the same in the bottom middle. And let's see who's going to come out on top after this initial fight. Smokes will come out. Lava playing all the way at the top ramp, lantering in. I think he saw exclusive, but he didn't get a chance to kill him. There's the mark. They know he was down, so that's four dead four quickly. Down. So what, look what Sneak does. Sneak is going to go back to D. He's going to try to play a little defense, and he's going to play defense at the home closest to his respawn, or closest to their respawn area. So they might not be able to get him quick enough to get that triple cap, just like last round. No, Mortifies. He's going to come out of spawn. He's going to be the last hope. Zenith right behind him, along with the exclusive and Hezzy. But do they have enough time? Mortifies. Able to get in the hill, and the drop shot was barely he was not able to get the kill, but Kenny picks it up with the second drop shot, taking out Mortifice and exclusive falling afterwards. And what a difference a little bit of patience can make. Kenny will fall. Still four members alive, though. 4v2. They're going to have to clean Hezzy, and here comes Sneak off the map. Sneak now, last fight. hope, I believe. They're going to have Mortifice coming off spawn, but I don't think he has enough time to get there. No, sir. No way. No how. Reciprocity will take a 5-4 to four round lead in this first map. Back and forth like a seesaw. Colin, what type of matchup do we have today? They're evenly matched up. Mazer and Reciprocity, both teams making great plays left and right with small mistakes in between. You have a great game to start off the day. Oh, my goodness. Back and forth. Two heavyweight contenders in this Gears Pro Circuit Mexico City delivering 
all the jabs, finding the positioning. I think right here, right now, though, this is a critical round. If Reciprocity goes up six to four, it could spell the end of this map one. I think Mazer has to win this one. This might be do or die. Mazer has to win it. Always so close to placing top four, but never quite able to make it, placing top six multiple times so far in their careers. But with the first blood going to exclusive, he is going to set the tone, taking out Vital Sam in the 2v1 over near the statue. Zenon takes out Dimble Bounce. And they're playing like it's a must win. Zenon doing what he can, trying to rotate back over to get a kill here on Lava, but that's not gonna come this to exclusive left by himself in that mid box area. He's gonna get the pick off Kenny. So I believe exclusive will have the drop shot. They will have the numbers early in this round. And but here we go with four alive on the three of reciprocity. Apply pressure, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot stress this enough. Recipro er, Mazer Gaming, excuse me, needs to find where those last few members of Reciprocity are and push them. Make them make the mistake. It's easier to make them make a mistake than to wait for you to make one. Mazer, they're actually in great hands right now. With all the real estate in the road except for the F Hill, Mortifies, he's going to the Dawn, the sniper rifle, and the drop shot will be an exclusive's hand. Mortifies, the player that. It's pretty versatile. When he was on Rise Nation, everybody on that roster actually said that whenever they did their best, it was Mortifies that stepped up big. So with Soto across from him, Mortifies being extremely patient, waiting for Soto to peek his head. But Reciprocity, they're at the standstill, being down one hill to two. You see the rotation coming over to D hill. So Mortifies, he's going to go ahead and rotate just a tad bit while watching the flank. And people don't realize this. You don't always have to be pressing the issue early in these rounds like this. Nobody's even time. hit 100 points yet. You have time. Take a deep breath. Make it a 5 oh, oh, fortifies. Oh, no. Oh, no. My legs are weak on that one. That was beautiful, baby. <laughs> Take a seat, Colin. That had some lipstick on it. That was pretty enough to kiss, baby. And getting the body shot on Kenny, mortifies, gets it down for exclusive to clean up the kill. Vital Sam getting down as well. Mortifies, he is not missing. Oh, the drop shot, the power weapon play for Mazer is out of this world. And Colin, they're gonna move in. It is a 4v2. This is their chance right now for domination. Four words to describe what has to happen in this round right now. Go for the throat, baby. I know I threw that fifth one in there, but who cares? <laughs> Mortifies, but we got a shotgun and extending his streak, getting a one shot on Soto. But the big fight, the story is happening over in the F Hill. Zenon holding it down. Mortifies, he's gonna fall, sneak, picks up the sniper rifle. And Demo getting a kill on Zenon. It's getting close. It's taking too long. This is taking too long. They have to go for a you triple count. You, you have about 10 seconds to get these decaps. If you don't get them within about 10 seconds, it's all over but crying, baby, because those points will accumulate too fast. Kenny's going to get that drop shot. <laughs> oh, Big miss shaky. by Sneak. Oh, he's no. shaky. You know we call that? My uh, old friend. Stage, my old friend used to call that the shaky thumb syndrome. Oh, no. That was a free kill, and he missed it. The old STS. It doesn't matter, though. 5-5. <laughs> five, five. A must-win round for Mazer Gaming does come through and they actually tie it up going into these final rounds. It's now a best of three in these rounds. Yeah. That's how you have to play it. It's no longer who can get to seven first. It's who, if I, can I beat him two out of three times? Can I do it? You know what, Colin? has to take that breath, baby. You gotta play this one round at a time. The beautiful thing about Escalation, it's a respawn game type, but once you get later on in this game mode, it turns into an old school classic. I love ex execution late there in these we rounds go. because you play it so subtly. You wait for the smokes to come out. You try to get that first kill, and then you just bang out. You say, oh, baby, we got our numbers now. And every we got kill, our numbers. Every kill means so much more. But taking a look at Soto, he's going to place the hammer burst in the dual spawn area. Think back. Demo bounce is deadly with those things. I don't know if they're going to take him out of that close range fight early on, but look to see if they can actually survive an initial onslaught if they send him over there. Soto, Demo, Vital, all in the 20 kill range. And all in the double digits for downs. So they're all shooting for each other. And if this was a basketball game, I'd be confident in their ability to win. Three double doubles. Hey, Ooh, baby. Everybody with an assist. But starting off with the initial game, reciprocity look doing exactly what we were talking look about. At the, cross. the cross is beautiful. Soto getting a double kill. Kill. Vital Sam moving down. He knows that Lava is in trouble behind him, but Lava, he doesn't need to help. Sam turns around, gets the kill, and the sniper rifle is in Demo's hands. And what does Soto get? I know a lot of people think the most iconic weapon in the game is the Nasher, but it is the chainsaw assault rifle. That Lancer is your best friend. If you keep it on your back and you take it out to make sure you're... Oh, that's so a big trade. Vital. That's a big trade. No, it wasn't. Because it's it's it over. Break. It it's get the over. Break. Oh my goodness, it One doesn't cause the break. I love that six to five. Reciprocity goes to map point here in map number one of Championship Sunday. 
Colin? Val. If, if, you're, if you're on Mazer, what are you telling yourself right now? They took the they took the they took the hammer bursts off. They play shocks. I think we might okay. see something special here. All right. I'm just throwing that out there. Let's see if my intuition comes through. That was really quick. Yeah, it's a great backup plan. If you happen to lose the fight for the drop shot, you can run over towards your A hill, pick up your shot grenades, and go ahead and make sure that no one's able to step foot in that hill for a short amount of time. But with the smoke out and Lancer fire. Going out there, Soto, he's going to be the first victim. He's going to go down. This is going to be up to Mazer in exclusive, kicking things off with the kill on vital. And you see a 5v4. They're going to have Lava down now, so it's going to be a 5v3 situation because this gun is not going to be in the fight. They need to get some kills. Somebody for reciprocity needs to get something to start, but it's not going to happen. Everybody's going to be falling. It's going to be down to Soto and Kenny, and this could very well go to a round 13. Great, they can't great get rotation. To any hills great rotation. Hezzy, he's setting up for the future with one player left alive for reciprocity. It's going to be Kenny, and then a 1v3 in order to get in the hill, he's going to have to pass Sneak first. It's not going to happen. Things are tied up, Colin. 6-6. Six, six. Who do you think is coming out on top? You still going with reciprocity? This I'm, is looking I'm sticking, good. I'm sticking with my pick, this is looking reciprocity. Good. But ladies and gentlemen, it's still breakfast time. All right. Round 13, it's for the bread, baby. But on the first map. I know. Hey, look. I on do, the first map. I do not care if it's the first or the last. What you got to realize is it's all or nothing right here. This is a killer of your morale. If you can't win this, you go into that second map, your head might hang a little low, your thumbs might move a little slower. You need to win this. You need to send a message right here. You need to make a statement early and, in the morning. And it all starts from here. The very last weapon drop of the map. Soto for reciprocity. Looking to place nades over in the statue. Now that's going to counter the boom, excuse me, the drop shot. With everybody surrounding that drop shot area in a big team fight, that chaotic mess, what's the best way to break it up? You toss a nade. A little bit of frag, a little bit of frag control, a little bit of area of effect, a little bit of an explosion. Makes some people scared. Heck, all you got to do is hear that clink, clink, and that BBB. And that's it. Just roll out. Get out of here. I don't know where it is or where it happened, but if I don't see it, I'm getting out. Colin, what better way would you have it with the first map on the line in the last round? 6-6. Six, six. Kenny, he's going to go down exclusive over near the Pistons area in the Pillars. Kenny. He's going to be able to get up. He's going to be able to get up. Yeah, but he, uh, he might not be able to get away because he's going to be full red, and here comes Zena to try to stop him. But he's here to help out his teammate. That's going to be big. Get the he's going to be the, the one that saves Vital Sam. But he's going to go down again, so now Vital's going to have to pick him up. But it's not going to be in time. Morty is there to get no! a double kill. Clutch plays by Mortifies all game long to help his team either stay in it or get rounds. And now on the shoulders of Demo Bounce, runs past the first aid. Demo. Sneak now. Back A doesn't hurt him as much as he thinks. Brick there though, he's about half health. He's gonna have to make sure he runs around, doesn't get shot off by that snipe, by that drop shot or by a pistol, and it is not enough. The cross is too much. Demo Colin. will get taken off. All eyes are on Soto right now in this 1v1 for the hill. He has help from Kenny, able to get the headshot. The 3v1 was successful. Nate in, Nate in. No, barely dodged a sneaky. Unable to get that, but he's in the back to go towards the E hill. They have the two to one hill lead. They're gonna be able to relax. Yeah, and it's a 4v4. It's a classic game mode. I mean, look at it. It's, you couldn't get any more execution than 4v4 right now with these long respawns. This respawn. is a beautiful game. But they're gonna have to wait for people to come off respawn before they make another push. All right, take a look at the blue bodies at the bottom of the overview of the map. You see them looking to make a push over towards Statue, but they're gonna have troubles with exclusive lancering from top tables. Demo. Moving down even closer towards the EO. So what they're gonna have to do, you already committed. Xenon's down. Make sure you don't down. hesitate. Make sure down. you don't hesitate. Make sure you make the push. Lava moving up to the statue. Well, what they what they gotta also remember is how many downs each member has. But look at this. Mazer is actually gonna fully rotate to over to D. Hill. Lava's Great. gonna have a free D cap there on E. And this is where the shot grenade comes in. A little bit of crowd control, making sure that part of the hill is blocked off. Sneak. With the great heads up play, picking up the double kill on Kenny and Soto. But Demo, the veteran from New Jersey, bouncing away. Oh, and he's, he's not going to go make down. it. That's going to be it. It's going to be bad. That's going to be it's it, ladies and lava. gentlemen. It's all up to Lava. But I do believe with five, a 4v1 advantage he's gonna be the okay. two hills. There might be enough time. Think Lava's going to have a 1v1. You have about 10 seconds to keep accumulating points, which you know better than anybody is going to force reciprocity directly into your shotgun. You oh! oh! Sneak no. on the flank, and he was denied. Lava, this is a must win, Colin. 
I don't know if he has eyes in the back of his head or he was a spider to know that was coming and have eight eyeballs on his own. But there goes Kenny, another big win for them. Four, three v four now. Push the advantage, get another kill. Demo kills Zenon. So now with three dead, there is a shot for you to win this round. You they gotta get, get Hezzy down. They gotta get Hezzy down. He is down. They're gonna have the secondary drop. With people still coming off spawn though, it's down to Morty and Sneak. You have to fly, you have to fly. Morty has the score. shock, Morty has the shock. Look at the score, It's Colin. planted, the shock is planted. The well, first shock is the second one got thrown. Oh, great play, Mortify. He's gonna be able to stall this Pistons push just for about a few more seconds. But you see three players grouping up Lava, throwing a smoke grenade. They actually blocked so themselves the off. Go. That no. is the best play no. ever. Oh my goodness. Mazer Gaming no, plants. No. They plant one shock to the right. The other one gets thrown to the left and they block themselves off. They couldn't get into the hill because they blocked themselves off. They had no idea that IQ They play. lost their own round. I hate to say it, but ladies and gentlemen, exclusive and I talked about it, that was a play designed to plant that shock as you come up that ramp, because most people will throw it towards your respawn opening, so when yeah. you run through, you're gonna get a little damage. They plant it to the other side, so when you throw it that way, you block yourself entirely off, and Mazer Gaming will win map one, seven to six. I cannot believe the way that round 13 just played out. Mazer HQ going up against Team Reciprocity. Rec has a five on three, maybe even a four on two, if I remember the numbers correctly, with the drop shot, with grenades, I believe, as well. Or did Mortify have those grenades? I, yeah, Mortify, Mortify ended up having the nades at that point, but I, I need to, I need I to take Rec a second. No, I need to take a second. No, Rec did have the yeah, right, nades. Yeah, you have he four the drop yeah. shots, yeah. two frag grenades, six and explosives, and the numbers advantage, and they're not able to allocate their resources properly. Ryan, what did you just see there? That round 13 was so back and forth. You saw it starting off Mortify's with a fantastic double kill, almost a triple kill that he probably should have gotten. They get control of the map. They gain a huge time lead. They start to waste the power weapons. Then all of a sudden you see Reciprocity get them four down hill control in play all of a sudden they have the final push to the last kill mortifies is the only one there all of a sudden you just see them standing on the ramp not making the push then those seconds <laughs> you talk about the seconds being everywhere those seconds were everywhere They're next thing you know they spawn up and then we have this absolute shield of shock grenades by the way which look really really cool no, Jess, Ryan, have, have you ever seen, right have you ever seen that where a team use. said let me plant a shock right here because more likely than not you're going to throw that shock toward that hallway where you respawn and have to run in to force that damage on you so that it's easier to get the down or the chunk. Have you yes, ever seen a defense, team? though, you're going to play no no, 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 not them. You rest, when you're playing offense, oh, right. you throw yeah. it where they have to run through it to get back to the hill. When you're playing offense, because they're going to come off spawn and run right through it. Have you ever seen a team actually plant a shock to the, to the left to actually create a wall of electricity to stop you from doing it? Reciprocity hesitated there, and at the time where they could not hesitate. Like I said, they started down. They started without numbers. They managed to spawn back up. They even took numbers back in the middle of the round. You had the every opportunity now. Morty's the only one alive. And they didn't do it. Look, Look he's right there. You the see screen. the replay right now. Look what time, 204, 205 on the clock. You can't make that play. You have to go earlier. All of Mazer spawned up. That was a blunder if I've ever seen it. What no. a finish that was. Of course, this is the round, I believe, in this situation where Zenon was down, Kenny goes down as well, but ultimately it was Demo that clutched up and was able to pick up one and keep his team alive in round 13. And then Kenny and Lava both do it as well on that E-Hill, an unbelievable job staying alive in round 13 and Demo surviving long enough for his teammates to stay in it as well, but ultimately not able to finish. That round 13 was one of the most epic round 13s we have seen. And we talked about it prior to the map starting. These are two teams who use very good teamwork and rely on their Lancers. We had many players nearing 20 downs. Both Soto and Hezzy had 22 downs each. There was a ton of great Lancer play. Basically, except like Mazer uses teamwork. They've been playing together a long time. That, that's to be expected for them. I'm actually very impressed by the, the Lancer play and the teamwork from Reciprocity. And what about the performance from Soto? The performance from Demo Bounce and Vital Sam, of course, Lava, Kenny, all playing well, but those two individuals stepping up in a major way, what impact did they have for Rec? Yeah, I mean, they played huge. This is, these are guys who've been there before, right? These are guys who have played on Sundays. These are guys who have won tournaments. So to me, I mean, it's, it's, I'm not surprised in any means to see any guys on Reciprocity come up big on Sundays. These are guys who've been there before, but you have to take that round 13 when it's in your grasp. These guys have been there before. That's, the veterans are the ones who should be taking those from these younger players. Yep. Meanwhile, how about 
Mazer HQ. Who oh, was it on the boy. squad that stepped up in your eyes? It was definitely Sneak. Sneak winning the crucial 1v1s, especially in 2v1s in his own home hill. He was able to come out on top every single time. Whenever you saw a flank, who was it? It was Sneak. His Lancer fire was superb. Everything he did was excellent. One player that I really liked on Mazer that needs to step it up a little bit more, Xenon was a slaying machine. But his power weapon play with that drop shot could use some work. Of course, they still did come out with the win, though, so they're on top of the world right now in their eyes. I know we had the chance to break down some rounds there. Round seven was one round I believe you wanted to talk about. Not sure if we were able to catch the package or the replay, but round seven, you saw reciprocity with the two hill setup. What went wrong for Wreck and what went so well? Yeah, so basically, Mazer did a great job. We talked about wolf packing, and hopefully, I think we have the replay coming up to be able to show you guys. The Mazer did a great job of what's called wolf packing to take that home hill setup. They ran three together, they got the first kill. Reciprocity had members there shooting at them, but they were so close to each other, they were able to revive each other because they were right on top of each other. The revives come in, they clean up the rest of the players, and they take over that hill. Yep, you see it right here, how good of a job that Mazer did. Really the entirety of that match, Wolf packing. Of course, in this scenario, this is round 10, they were able to hold on to that setup with reciprocity. But ultimately, it was Mazer that came out on top in an epic round 13. So many things could have gone Rex's way. What would you have liked to see differently? When you have a four on two, you have four drop shots, you have two frag grenades, how would you have liked to see them allocate their resources? Yeah, to me, honestly, it's when you get numbers, you got to move, right? Especially on Foundation. Like the, the Foundation is the most played map ever in Gears of War 4. It's played in wagers every night. These guys know every single rotation on Foundation. These guys have played this map long enough. You have to know, when you have those numbers, it is time to go, especially on these long spawn rounds. Keep in mind, yeah. round 13, the spawns are very, 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 very long. You have all the time in the world to gather your numbers and move together. Yep, and ultimately, what I think they could have done a little differently there, rather than Kenny going by himself with the drop shot, through mid and pushing through spawn, where by the way, the rest of the team's gonna be spawning. If he had someone, I think it was Vital that was there with him, Vital decided to go open to down low, cave, and push three instead of pushing two and two and being able to wolf back. And I think that ultimately costed them. I know you've been talking about the importance of wolf packing. Yeah, I mean, to me, like, you have to use your power weapons to break setups. You have to use your power weapons to make moves, right? If your players are making moves and then you're relying on your power weapons on the back end, that's going to be kind of a risky play because the, the fight's kind of going on. But then, for one, you can risk a team kill. That's never good. And, and two, like I said, the power weapons are power weapons for a reason, right? Yeah. I like to see teams lead with power weapons and make their power weapons the catalyst that makes you break a setup. Well, hindsight is always 20-20 fallout. Yep. Reciprocity, they were ultimately banking off of everybody coming up the ramp. And Kenny, once they waited for him, which was about 10 seconds, and Ryan said that was way too long, Yep. Once they got stalled out and blocked off from the shot grenades, Kenny's whole strategy for coming up from the flank with the drop shot was denied. Yep, and if he had someone with him, if yeah, I would have rotated with Kenny, yeah. even if Kenny gets down with that drop shot, he has someone to revive him right away. That's Don't put all your eggs in one basket. That we use often. But it looks like game number two is ready to go. A lot to analyze and a lot to talk about in game one, but something tells me game two will be even better. Can reciprocity force a game number three on map two, which is impact, or will this Mazer HQ squad be able to shut them down and close this out two to zero. Of course, on the side station, space station goes up one to zero against Rise. Be sure to catch that on the Bravo stream, but it looks like map number two on impact is ready. All right, Colin, map number two. We saw Simplicity choke away the final round, but Mazer on top, 101 maps. You see Kenny start off the game getting down. And I love how all the shots come out. Everybody seems to be getting Everybody seems to be getting these Lancers in. They're going to get the crosses in. You're going to see down there, they're going to have control over that T table area early in this round. But Mortifies gets it down there, but he's also going to go down. So Xenon and Mortifies, they're going to be able to clean up that first kill, and they're going to move back forward toward that early B hill. Demo's going to stand on it, try to get a cap. He's got one member behind him, but the triple cap's coming through, so he's going to have Already. to fight this. He's going to have to fight this. You're going to have to turn back around. You're going to need to use these numbers to try to get him off the B hill because you cannot get triple capped within the first 20 seconds of this round. No, Vital Sam picking up a body shield. He's knocked down immediately. Kenny in the background with a Lancer. Lancer had little to no effect. It's Kenny fails to help out Vital Sam. He gets taken down, and Mazer swarming this middle area in reciprocity. They don't have an answer. Right now, Reciprocity doesn't have an answer for the dominance of the Wolf Pack of Mazer Gaming. We heard our analyst Ryan talk about it. It was backed up by Fallout, a longtime Gears of War player. They said it's effective and it's proving to be one of the deadliest weapons in Mazer's arsenal. All right, and you see the offense from Mazer pushing Reciprocity deeper into their spawn. Vital Sam getting called down to 2v1. Let's take a look at the X-rays. Two guys with their Lancers out. They're creating a wall of defense over here, Colin making sure that reciprocity, they're going to have to fight through a fury of Lancer fire in order to come out of their spawn. 
Look at the setup, though. Look, all the, look, all look these at the patience. One, look two, patience. three, four. Four within about 30 or 40 yards of each other. All the able to lance her. Oh, goodness gracious. Good God almighty. I would not rush into that hail of gunfire. Oh, with a smoke grenade coming out from Soto, he's going to lead the way with Lava. Xena and Mortifies realize that is a fight they did not win. Mortifies, he's going to go and protect the B-Hill. And Xenon, he's going to make sure that Lava stays back. But Lava, he's hungry. He wants blood. He's going to push him into the spawn where Lance of Fire comes in and gets him full red. So that's not the push that they need. No, he does not need to be boneheaded. Go after that in a 2v1 and get that kill. They're going for the B-Hill right now. They're still down by about 60 points, and you're getting to the point where you're going to need at least one break. You're going to need that break on that hill in order to solidify the round. And Mazer knows it. So look at the top of that stairwell. Four bodies waiting for you on the X-ray. If I am reciprocity, I need to make sure I have at least one smoke to be able to go out to try to blind somebody. This is going to be the last push, Colin. The last push. Go Wait. down in the hill. Go down in the hill, Kenny. Go down the hill and demo. He's gonna have to act That's fast. it. That's what you need. You need to at least go down in the hill, get the first break. Demo backed up. He didn't go up to try to help his teammate. He knew that there were three there. He might need another break though, especially with the demo B has coming to act. back. He can't run away in this situation. The B hill got put back in Mazer Gaming's favor, so the dual demo. push didn't work. The demo dual push failed. Demo. Demo sees his teammate dies in front of him, knowing this is a triple cap situation. He does nothing to help, and that's gonna be it. With a lot of action coming out here. The round. It's coming to an end, and there's a little pause, a slight little delay. The Wolf Pack is still effective. Ryan has really done a great job breaking down how that works, how that's effective, how a team can use that to really push their numbers, push forward, and make things happen on a map, yeah. especially when you know that they got to push directly into you. You kept seeing it, Ryan. Four members were within a, a hand's reach distance of each other. It's going to be Demo Bells. Demo unable to save the round, watching his own teammate die in front of him and running away from the hill that he needed to capture with 10 seconds left. That can't happen. You're going to have to be the big boy. Put on your big boy pants to jump in that hill. Fight that one. There's going to be like times. I, like I said, Kenny knew he was going to go down. That had to be the call. Look, I'm going to go down for this break. You're going to need to be, You need to be in my back pocket. You need to be able to shoot the first person coming in because that keeps the hill broken. That keeps us yeah. pushing forward. That's the pressure you need to apply. Demo rolls back leaves Kenny out to dry. In a mode like Escalation, there are times where you have to make the decision to go for hills over kills, right? Yes. This, at the end of the day, is an objective game type. We love seeing slaying. We love seeing kills come in. But at the end of the day, you score points on the objective. Well, looks like map number two is loaded back in and ready to go here. Reciprocity down 101 maps against this Mazer HQ squad who's looking very, very strong. Gentlemen, the floor is yours. All right, let's see if Reciprocity can correct their blunders and start off hot. Something that Mazer did last round. Taking a look at the overview of the map, most of the fight is going to move over towards this B area. Exclusive, that's great was positioning right there. Look at that. Oh, he took double that back down. table with a Lancer out. He takes that back table, and you're going to get two quick kills there on Reciprocity. How, how was he not called out? This is textbook. This is what you call the smokes come out. Somebody matches you on T-table. You think you have the numbers there at T-table because it's a 1v1, so you bring the second one in, and then Exclusive takes that back table, and it's a Lancer fire down situation. And look at the pressure that Exclusive is currently providing, making sure that every time Reciprocity comes out of spawn, he's going to be there with a Lancer from the shotgun with the domination coming through exclusive is doing exactly what he needs to do demo short once again to step foot in the hill and that is going to be a quick duo calling in only 47 seconds so we come back from the break we break the huddle a little bit everybody had a chance to talk it out 
and that's bad news for reciprocity right there. If you come out of a huddle and you lose a round in 47 seconds, that means Mazer saw something in your armor, they exploited it, they went straight for the jugular, next thing you know, you're lying on your back, you're down 2-0. You gotta fight back here, you gotta change the fight, you gotta make it something you're more comfortable with, which you see Soto putting down that boom shot at the tail. They're hoping that the cross, they're hoping that the numbers can be more effective in their positioning. Well, the fight was not working in their favor over towards the B Hill, losing twice in a row over for that initial round. So they're gonna switch the fight over towards the cockpit, excuse me, the tail end with the boom shot, which is gonna be very important. They're gonna have to go big. This is gonna be a new strategy and a new setup, a new look that we're going to see this round with each team allocating. No, it's gonna be a 5v4 with an extra player in the cockpit. Well, you see Vital. Vital's actually going over there. I think they try to get positioning the Lancer or call out anybody that's trying to go through that mid cut. Kenny gets a quick pick. Soto gets a double. Lava gets a third. So the plan worked perfectly, and they've showed their hand. This might be one of their little trick strats. This might be something they're throwing out to show a different look at a team. But now you can't do this ever again, I think. I think they're going to know how this is coming. Sneak, last alive for his team. He's got to hold off until Tsukusu can get there to give him a hand. What a great weapon placement for Reciprocity. Immediately showing how the boom shot came in big for him. Sneak jumps in the hill, gets taken out by Vital Sam. Demo following behind him, picking up the second kill, and one by one, Mazer. They are trying their hardest to make sure that the Sea Hill doesn't get capped. And with Zenon and Hezzy falling, that's gonna be it. They're gonna pick up their first round. Simplicity finally on the board. So I'm gonna break that down for you a little bit. They send Vital over to that cockpit side. It allows him to have all the sight lines into the boom shot area. So even if the fights are not going down face to face, he's able to get some little bit of Lancer damage. He might make somebody think about pushing or up Aang into that fight. And that made a world of difference. And he's able to get marks. So one of the biggest X factors in that fight is those sight lines and Reciprocity had complete control over it. Nobody even went there to challenge him. And great coaching from the IGO. If you're gonna lose a boom shot fight on the opposite side of the map, why not bring it back to where you guys are winning? We're gonna have a sniper rifle opposite of the boom shot. So we're gonna see a 1v1 and whoever wins that fight, they're gonna have clear sights down to over in the tail end of the map where they can headshot anybody picking up the boom shot. Mazer probably said to themselves, look, we didn't have a reason to go over there last time. Let's give us a reason to fight over there. Let's make it a 1v1. Let's try to make sure something happens. But it will be Vital and Sneak. Can Sneak hold off Vital Sam? Maybe get him down with that Lance of Fire as he tried to push him to that back table. That's a big miss right there. Sneaky has to get probably one or two shots here. But Vital will have all his health back. He's played this defensive rotation perfectly in this 1v1. Sneak, the utmost confidence in the road. He's not landing shot. And Vital, he's going to get the best of Immortifies from Mazer. He's now going to have the boom shot. Vital, opposite of the map. He's going to have the sniper rifle. He's going to have to go big if he shows anything that he did in San Diego tonight here, excuse me, this morning here in Mexico. He's gonna go big. You must have had a long night, baby. That's the wrong country and the wrong time of day. <laughs> wrong time zone. It's all right. You're, you're here with me now. We're right here in the action. It's a little confusing. Sometimes you get lost in it. I know it's a war zone out there, but Mortifies has that shotgun out, that boom shot on his back. Xenon's rotating it around. What you see here is everybody's reset again. Mazer knows they have the two to one hill advantage. They're gonna get the point lead. They have the boom shot as well. So you've gotta get Vital somewhere where he can have a good chance at getting a headshot because that will break the ice in this team fight. Yeah. We have a two to one hill lead with a score of 48 to 40. You see Simplicity, they're now waiting for this push. Demo has been called out over towards the B area. Hezzy. He's been told he's going to back up with his Lancer out. He's going to make sure that this attack from Reciprocity is going to be halted. With Mortifies with the boom shot. Oh, he's going to get the first one, the long range boom on Demo. And with the second one, Mortifies killing Kenny, but also at the cost of killing his teammate. I know it comes at a cost, but that still keeps you in a 4v3. You still keep numbers. Imagine if Kenny was a little bit too far away and that only kills your teammate. You're willing to make that trade because the respawns are low yep. and it keeps your numbers. There's no problems with that trade early in this round because look, the points still racking up. Still Time going up. still going. Tick, 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 tick. No Getting time lower. to get desperate. No time There's to get desperate. There's a lot of time yet. left in the game. They're so, going to pass that 120 mark. You're gonna, they're going to pass that 120 mark. Demo's going to have to come off spawn, and they're going to have to rotate over to the cockpit because you're going to you're going to be forced to get that secondary boom spawn. And now this is where you're going to have to pick things up. You cannot nice. wait for Vital to go ahead and make a play with the sniper rifle, which is what he just did. But also, Hezzy is going to have a long scope of his own. Oh, he took a shot right there, hoping to connect doesn't work. Here comes a shot 
on to Hezzy as well. Kenny's going to get that boom shot. So the secondary boom goes in favor of Reciprocity. And Reciprocity here has a chance to rotate around. Hezzy almost cleaning the brains They're running out, out of the time. Skull of They're Vital. running out of time. It's getting close. You know that the push is coming. Hezzy has a look there at Lava. Can Hezzy get the headshot? Oh! That answered my question, didn't it? Hezzy! Can he get it? Can he, get it? He, did. he got it. He got it. Hezzy taking the scalp off the Lava Bounce. And there you have the sound. Reciprocity once more waiting until it's a little bit too late to make a push in order to get a triple cap, but it just might happen. Kenny Bounce utilizing the boom shot and all of them allocating their resources all over towards his A hill. The domination was denied. Mazer, all they need is one more hill to win, nine more seconds, and Hezzy, he's gonna have to go big. He's stepping in the hill. This is the first shot, he's gonna go down. Demo getting the last kill, and with the very last push within the last nine, Points of Mazer, Reciprocity, able to snatch the round. I'm gonna break it down again. You saw Reciprocity there with two members on that hill. One of them had the meat shield. You can tell your teammate, play up, big man. Keep that meat shield in front of you. Beat him down with a pistol. It'll cause a stun. It'll keep him from getting in this hill. I love to see when teammates are willing to sacrifice a little bit of points there because you're not gonna get the hill cap, but you're playing up, you're getting the round win. And in a tournament like this, with 200 grand on the line, 200 belly. grand. It don't matter. You need the rounds, not the points, baby. I don't care what your score is at the end of the day. <laughs> you want the check, baby. You want that check. All right. Moving in to round number five. We're going to have a tied game so far. Pretty much a, a mirrored image of what we saw the first map. We saw Mazer go up 2-0. Reciprocity answering back with their own 2-0. And now we're in a similar situation on board with Demo Bounce. The once slayer in Gears of War turned into support player, versatility power weapon player for this simplicity roster. He's gonna throw in the smoke and he's gonna be the first in the push. Reciprocity roster, Demo Bounce is doing everything that's called upon him. He's had to change his play style a couple different times throughout Gears 4 based on the opponent, the components around him. You're gonna see him bounce in though. He's gonna have to come in here on a flank, try to get the first, he will. He's gonna be almost down though. I think he will go down and the sniper actually picks Lava off. So that's gonna be five dead. And with four members of Mazer alive, it looks like we will go three to two in favor of Mazer Gaming. What a round, what a clutch couple of shots by the sniper, by the snub coming in to get the down on demo. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the most textbook five on five yes. fight I might have seen all day long. And putting down a power weapon set as a boom shot, it's such a double edged sword. Yes, we all won it. But if you don't win that initial fight, chances are the round is going to be over faster than you think. But on board with Reciprocity, this is the weapon placement phase. Let's take a look and see if they're going to put a counter down to oppose from this boom shot setup. And we're going to have two nays on the map now, the incense and also the frag grenade. Two different type of effects, but both use deadly. Two different types of effects, but both just as effective. I think what they did that for is that sniper rifle fight was making it a little too dangerous to go for a pick there on the boom shot. It might open things up because now even though you have the incense and the frags, you're not going to worry about getting your head cleaned off by the sniper rifle as soon as you pick it up. Right. You have a 2v2 open in the tail area. And all of a sudden you have seen an over aggressive making a push over to reciprocity side of the map. He's going to pick up the first kill on Kenny Bounce with exclusive. Taking out Demo as well, and with another 1v1, Mortifies taking out the veteran Lava Bounce. So Soto and Vita, the last remaining members on Reciprocity. Sam, he's going to go down. It's going to be all up to Soto. And the triple cap is going to be fast. Soto, he's going to have to act fast. He knows that Mortifies is coming into the sea hill. But with his Lancer fire, he's going to be Mortar able to hold it to back. Die. He doesn't need to die. He has to boom shot. He has to boom shot. Back up, let your teammate be the person in the fight. There goes Demo standing still. He misses an easy boom shot, even though they will threaten the triple cap. That boom shot is the most deadly thing in this close quarters fight. You see Morty putting it back on his back. He's still got one rocket left. So use your advantage. Use that rocket wisely. Back up, get your numbers back. Don't take a chance at dying right here and losing it. And the rotation is happening over towards the B hill where Zenon was able to clean up a kill against Kenny Bounce in a 1v1. But Mortifies gets caught out in the open with a boom shot on his back. He's going to be able to get up hiding behind a pillar currently. But Mazer up 2-0 in regards to Hills. And the score keeps ticking up there, Colin. 76-12. Yes, this is a time where you have to act if you're reciprocity. And with this high-level gameplay, this high level, these high-caliber teams, you love to see how they keep taking their time. They know that they have any chance in the world. They need one full wipe, and they can get a triple cap. So if I'm reciprocity, 
I do not force this issue just yet. You gotta find out where that boom shot is. Morty, there it goes. Second rocket out and a double kill to his name. Played it like a fiddle. That right now is one of the biggest swings in this round because they thought Morty might have not been saved. Ooh. And then he gets a third to his name. Mortifies going absolutely massive once that four to two round lead going into half. And that's gonna be all five players down, Colin. Domination coming through, three seconds left. Soto just coming in the spawn, but it's gonna be too little, too late as they extend the lead to four two, once again mirroring what we saw map number one. And Mazer Gaming has a lead, and they have dominated this map of impact. They've used the sight lines, they've used the wolf pack. They are opening up the arsenal, bringing out all the tricks early in this game, whether it be getting an overload of numbers one place, whether it be sending somebody to fight a 1v1 that might cost them, but it's been paying off. High risk, high reward sometimes for Mazer Gaming, but everything's working in their favor right now. They must have gone to church on Sunday morning, baby. <laughs> well, Mazer's definitely taking them to church right now. Take a look at the strategy. We have a mismatch on both ends of the map. A 3v2 over in the cockpit area for Mazer, but also the opposite on the other side of the map for reciprocity. You're gonna have to act on it now. Recognize the numbers given to you and make sure you make the high percentage push. Soto running around, getting it down with the Lancer. Kenny picking up the headshot on Mortifies. Picking up the clean, easy kill. But Soto, this rotation is gonna be so important. He knows that he sees one player up near the F hill, but offering support fire from the middle. Zenon's in the sight. He's gonna make sure Zenon definitely feels the pressure. So here you see Soto get that clean sight line across the map. He put some shots there on Zenon. They've got the two to one hill advantage. The hills have flipped though from the cockpit down to the tail, from the top side gardens down to the inside hallways. So these respawns have also reset down. Play your life. Soto goes down, but he goes down on his own side. He's gonna be able to get picked up pretty easily by Kenny. Kenny rotating over. And now they have a 2v3 right here and they need to push in. All right, and reciprocity are definitely feeling the heat. You have Mazer pushing in, capturing their second hill. It's going to be a mid hill. It's going to be E. So now, up in points, but down in hills. Reciprocity. Soto trying to make up his mind if he wants to push over towards the double home hill setup with his teammates, but he's going to offer support to even out the odds, making it a 2v2 over near the E. And both teams, they're waiting for that opening kill. No, it's going to be three players over near the E hill. They're going to have to utilize their numbers fast. So here we go into the big window with Demo Bounce trying to look over. They only have the one hill now. They're going to be losing their point lead in about five seconds because they're going to get that 1.5 per second. So only the one of Maze, or only the one of Reciprocity. You see now Demo's going to rotate all the way across. He's going to try to get this revive here on Soto. No, he's going to throw some Lancer shots out because he knows Soto can pick himself back up after about 15 seconds. You're going to see him now pull his Lancer. He's going to try to get it down on his own. They're on Sneak. Sneak go. A little too quick for him. Gets into that big door. And here comes another member of Mazer. The Wolf Pack yet Demo. again. They're close enough great, to each other. Great Lancer fire from Demo Bounce. The veteran here giving Soto a free and easy kill on Zenon. And Demo's going to pack his Lancer. He's going to go all the way over to the D hill. Or two players. Sneak. And someone else. They're sneaking up towards this D hill. They want to make the push. Calling out numbers. See the rotation happening all towards the tail side of the map. It is now going to be a 3v3 once again over near this area. But the cockpit is going to be in their favor. The cockpit is a still a pivotal point in this map because it protects your home and it still gives you sight lines over to E. The points are so close right now and they're in the favor of reciprocity. So Mazer needs to get that break. They need to get that hill almost immediately. Soto gets Morty and Hezzy gets Soto for his trouble. They're going to get the, they're going to get the two cap right here. The, the D hill is getting decapped and that will spell demise, I believe, for reciprocity because by the time they get that hill back in their favor, that 1.5 points will not only catch up, but it'll give them the round win. And I believe That's Mazer be it. will go up gonna be it. five to two. Ladies and gentlemen, already standing up, already dapping up. Mazer looking so impressive in this first map. The taste of victory is in their mouths right now. Sneak getting up, hyping up his teammates. This is what you want to see. Two rounds away with the commanding lead over the veterans. Reciprocity. This team, they, they had a great showing last time when they were in Mexico under the Simplicity banner, um, knocking out the favorites here in Mexico. But today, they are looking to winning these rounds, making sure Reciprocity doesn't have a chance. Lava is looking to put down a power weapon. Putting a boom shot down would be smart. Last half, I believe, Reciprocity in this fight, they, they actually got the best of Mazer. 
and they got the best of Mays during the initials, but they never got really the momentum going the forward, run. so they yeah. ended up losing the rounds anyway. The boom shot's smart, but you have to be able to capitalize on getting it. You can't just get it and hold on to yourself and get your laurels. You gotta sit here, get the E, get the F, and then push forward over to that D hill. All right, smoke's out, and the boom shot is inside. Lava extending over and running into the shotgun of Lava Bounce, but Zenon with the quick pick, and the early kill for Mortifies made it all happen, but Mortifies, he's not done here yet. And then over the cover fight against Kenny Bounce, Hezzy is gonna take out Vital, and Kenny is finally gonna go down. Mazer not letting go, and they're gonna continue pushing to clean up these kills. There's too many hero plays right now. Everybody's playing for themselves, they're not playing for the team. Unlike Mazer Gaming, every Lancer out, every bullet counts, everybody's getting the shots in that's needed to make every fight easier. And you're leaving Lava and Soto off a of respawn in bad situations. Now Demo will come off respawn as well. Mazer will have the boom, they'll have the two hills, they have everything in the world. It's like they won the lottery in that round because of all the boneheaded <laughs> plays. <laughs> Reciprocity, they're pretty much at a standstill. It's gonna be very scary to see where you're gonna push. Lava's showing his position. Hezzy now knows where he's at, but Lava's spreading that information out to his teammates now. Now, Reciprocity are highly aware that Mazer are looking to put on some pressure towards the F hill, but they don't need to do that just yet. Just creating a line of land so far, making sure Reciprocity stays in check. So Lava's still sitting on his home hill trying to survey the area you see through the X-ray. All the members of Mazer Gaming are spread out right now in a defensive wall setup, and they are going to have to figure out where exactly they are and where to throw the smokes correctly because you're going to have to break this setup. The marks come in. Lava tries to get some Lancer fire on, but he can't connect any of those bullets. So Reciprocity has to go ahead, throw a smoke or two, and start to push forward. Lava, tip of the spear for his team in this set, try, attempted retake of the map control, but he's gonna bounce out in that mid cut. Zenin. Here comes a big flank. Zenin. Big flank. Zenin getting the double kill with the boom shot, and this middle push is so important because the next boom shot will be up soon, and that's why they're fighting for so much real estate. You see all these blue bodies on your map from the X-rays. Mazer, they're primed to give Zenin even more ammo. Oh, Zenin picked up the Lancer, sorry. Zenin picked up a Lancer, but that boom shot will be coming back very shortly. He's going to be able to get it, and there it goes. There it goes. Immediately. Instantly. You gave him time to pick up two weapons. <laughs> two weapons, Colin. Free and clear to get both of those weapons. Demo getting a double kill of his own. Hezzy, though, shutting him down. Now Vital will be taken off of the map, so with three dead for reciprocity, it's all or nothing here. You're up to that 180 marker, so you're getting a 176 to 120. So the pushes have to come in. The triple cap's getting threatened. This is do or die. Soto goes down. It will be die. Oh, no. And oh, no. my, Soto. no. Exclusive. Giving him a little trash talk. He has Giving family. him a long spawn. He has a and family. Oh, no. The beatdown comes out. Sneak with a double kill of his own. Hezzy killing Morty. Killing his all teammates. for trash talk. <laughs> this team is having fun now. They feel it, and they are feeling themselves. Oh, my goodness. That hurts. That hurts. Now you're going to have to play perfect. You have to win five rounds in a row against a team that has not let off the gas yet. This they is going to be extremely hard. Beaten down, beaten up, reciprocity on a standing eight count. They are a boxer who's been knocked down too many times. That referee is looking at him, giving him the smell and salt. It's like, are you still with me, buddy? <laughs> Somebody might have to grab a towel and throw it in for him because this is starting to get ugly here in map number two. But reciprocity has a chance. There's always hope. You got five rounds for your tournament life, ladies I don't and like gentlemen. This. I don't like this, Colin. We've seen this boom shot happen throughout the entirety of this map. They're going to exit out the middle, so all eyes are going to be right here in the tail end of the map with the boom shot. What did I tell you yesterday about the block? It's my least favorite. It's my, I, my hate, least. I hate a block. You're, it tells me you don't want to change anything. It tells me that you think you can keep beating your head against this wall, and eventually your Nasher is going to somehow be stronger all of a sudden. you got to change the fight a little bit. It's not working. You're down two to six. Put down the counter over in the cockpit. Hey, Demo, what's the definition of insanity? <laughs> Doing the same thing and expecting different results. All right, with the smokes out, exclusive from Mazer, getting the very first kill on Demo Bounce. But Mortifies utilizing his boom shot, suiciding himself, killing himself, but also Lava now. Hezzy and exclusive, they're in the 2v2 against Kenny and Vital. But Kenny getting the big win and the boom shot, he has been rewarded. 
and he's gonna get rewarded here with that with that boom shot. He's gonna be able to rotate over. But look at that. Bido gets that up A. There so you go. here comes the triple cap possibility. Sneaks in to come off spawn. He goes for the up A, gets easily chunked. Oh. And then Bido gets a second. Bido bouncing around. Bido has one more he has to get, but he doesn't need to because Kenny has the boom shot. So here we go. Will they finally get another round under their belt? Yes, they will. Ladies and gentlemen, does the comeback start here and now for reciprocity? Is it the light at the end of the tunnel, or is it all said and done if Mazer comes back in this next one? Because you're giving Mazer every weapon placement from every here on out. Placement. They can control how this fight will go for the rest of this game. I love if they're in Mazer's feet, they're saying, hey, look, We've won six rounds already. We could change it if we want to. Let's just put some incense down there. Yep. Maybe if we don't get that boom shot, we might be able to survive off of that fire, baby. A little bit of AOE action, maybe crowd control. A little bit. A little, a little bit. A little bit of everything with those incense. But that, that incense area is not going to be a point of focus right now. It's still all eyes on the boom shot, the most powerful weapon in the game, and especially on the map. And that is right in front of the E hill, which is accessible right next to the stairs. If they get that boom shot, they're going to be able to run up those stairs and get a nice triple cap by spawning, trapping them with the boom. But Sam is going to kick things off, getting a kill on Sneak. Soto getting the second kill, but the boom shot it was picked up and it was dropped. Zenin oh, gets that's wiped a off wipe. the map. What are we watching? With the boom shot. Hey, look, you just, look. Where was this reciprocity all along? This reciprocity has finally come to life. They've finally woken up. Like I said, that referee waved those smell and salts in front of him. It might have woken him up. might have given him a little bit of life here. They will <laughs> win their fourth round, and the comeback continues. One inch at a time. Okay. One round okay. at a time. Colin? Reciprocity must do this that way. They can't think too far ahead. They can't fight the next fight. They got to fight the one right here in their face, and they are doing it perfectly for the last two rounds. If I'm Mazer, I take a deep breath. It's like a deep, deep, deep they, they, This is scary territory now, okay? You're supposed to put the game away, but twice now with a 6-2 lead. You've given up two more rounds to Reciprocity. Reciprocity, they're feeling it. The momentum is on their side. But now Mason, they're starting to question themselves. Hey, we should have won that round. We should have won this round. Why aren't we winning yet? Reciprocity, they have what it takes to bring it back, but can they stay perfect? Overconfidence, when the pressure was on reciprocity, they actually up eight into the shotguns a lot of Mazer, but now with Mazer being so dominant, they think they can do whatever they want. Now they're up eight into the shotguns of reciprocity. So it's back and forth, Demo pushes across, he's gonna get called out, and a little bit of Lancer fire comes in, puts in full red, and Ooh. he's gonna get down and taken out by explosive. No, he won't, no, he won't, no, so he won't. And the boom shot is going to Kenny. So the boom shot in reciprocity's hands. Kenny immediately taking out Zenon. Mortifies is out. Two more players for Mazer. Reciprocity trying to make this comeback come to life. But with the whiff boom shot, Kenny. Sneak is going to be able to run away. Hezzy's down, though. Hezzy's down, though. So Sneak's able to get away just for now. He's going to get his health back finally. So still three members dead for Mazer Gaming. They need to reset right here. Kenny has thrown away both of those booms, and he's able to rotate out and get a Nasher in his hands. So now Kenny basically back to full strength here. He's able to just get back to where everything started before he dropped his Nasher for that boom shot. They're going to get Sneak. They're going to wipe him off the map. They have the two to one hill advantage, and Reciprocity has the map position. But look at the x ray. There's the over blue, those They're two over blue, Those two blue outlines. That's a brilliant play. That's going to be call. it. Exclusive. He's going to have to win this 1v1. Lava bounce now applying pressure because the pinch. No, 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 no. That's going to be one more Reciprocity member. So power is in number Zenon coming to back up, fortifies and exclusive. Flood the other side of the map, boys. Don't beat your head against this wall. Go down to tail. Get that F hill. They do have it in their hands, but now you see that it's a 2v2 on the opposite you, you side of the map. You have to commit now, because on the opposite side of the map, you see your teammate in a 1v2. Sam, three players down immediately for Mazer. Make that four. Sneak, the last player alive in a 1v1. Demo bounce. Demo. Demo! With the nice shot, taking out Sneak. I got to turn around. I got to watch this reaction on stage. Look at Demo bounce. The IGL, the team leader, he's making calls. He's saying, dap me up, big man. This is I'm scary. I'm getting my energy. I'm getting my hype. Go ahead. House of Bounce is open for business, and they are living rent-free on Mazer Gaming's compound right now. They are making this a game a map number two. Oh, baby. With the comeback on the line, Reciprocity looking to do the impossible, coming back from a 2-6. But Colin, the long shot has been placed over in the cockpit. So now, Mazer, they're offering a counter for the boom shot. If they're not able to win that team fight, they're going to depend on that one player to make a difference. And that difference can be all they need. But reciprocity, can they maintain hot? It worked in the first half. 
they're hoping it works in the second half. Mazer Gaming placing that long shot again in the cockpit area. Out here at the tail though, the fight will go down. Kenny gets taken out. That's massive. That is absolutely huge. He oh, misses no. the one oh, shot. Oh, Solo! There you go. One, so one, one shot. Kill. One shot, one shot two trigger. kills. Oh, one shot, two kills. And that's why the shotgun has all those pellets, baby, get, so get you can get all shot. the damage. Get the boom shot, big man. Solo with the best weapon in the game now. Hezzy, the last remaining member for Mazer. This is a mental breakdown. Hezzy is down. Oh, no. Hezzy's down on back table. Zenon and Morty will come off spawn in time to hopefully try to get oh, there. Oh, no. Push up. Push oh, up. No. Push up. Use that boom. Use Shoot boom. it now. Yeah. There you go. Round 13. Stop. Back to back maps. Stop. Back to back maps. We have a round 13. What is Reciprocity. happening? Reciprocity. Laser Gaming putting it all on the line. I love this action this early in the morning. You can't get more hype than you do right now. Here in Mexico, you are getting the best gameplay we have ever seen in Gears of War from all of your top teams, starting with the very first game of the day, Sneak. Putting down the very last weapon placement. Everything comes down to this, and they're looking to put down another long range power weapon. They're trying to spread the numbers of reciprocity out. Reciprocity doing a much better job staying close to each other. So you put all these extra power weapons on the ground. You might have a 1v1 there for that M bar. You might have a 1v1 for the long shot, but you are still going to have a team fight for that boom shot. If I'm reciprocity, I'm only sending one away from it. Continue to always send four to the boom. Win the boom fight. Win the boom first. Win the boom first. All right. And it all comes down to this Mazer, one round away from advancing into top six. Reciprocity, one round away from taking this into the tiebreaker map. Nobody has moved forward yet, and there's been no kills taken. We're at a standstill. Oh, exclusive. He's going to be the first to go down, Colin. You have about 10 seconds to make a move right here with Exclusive still trying to tap up. You have about 10 seconds. You're not going to be able to get him. No. Nope. He hit. Somebody ran over and got the actual revive on Exclusive. He got up too quick. Hezzy actually rotated over, got the revive on him, and then went back to his spot. So now you see the breakdown coming from Reciprocity. They're going to push up. They're going to try to get map positioning. Soto's going to have to back up, though. He's going to be full red. Oh, Sneak has it on Soto. He knows Soto is full red. He's been tagged out, but Sneak, he's highly aware that there's another player backing up Soto if he wants to make a move. It has been about 20 seconds left we and need to no find kill. Exclusive. We need to find exclusive the on the map. Right he went down again. That's two downs the for The first kill. Sam there it is. getting a headshot on Zenon. And exclusive is still down. Oh, no. Get exclusive. Oh, three no. alive, three alive, three alive. This is it, Hezzy. He he's going down now. Advantage, That's going to be advantage, three players. Advantage. Reciprocity with the comeback. Two more players alive. Kenny picks up the boom shot. Colin, if they advance right now, this round can be theirs. We're going to go into a map three. Wow, oh my. Kenny's rotating that boom shot toward the home hill of Mazer Gaming. He's got it out, though. He's got to be careful. Here comes Soto from the back. They've got that mark on Sneak. So now Sneak is going to turn around. Soto's going to get the easy kill on him. Rotate that boom up. Get the kill on oh. Zenith. Now it's down to Exclusive. Exclusive is no. going to have to make something happen. Exclusive is going to have to make something happen. He's going to get no, taken down. down like Here comes this. Hezzy. I don't know if Hezzy's going to make it. I don't know if Hezzy's going to make it. He doesn't. The comeback and that will is be the real. Comeback. Reciprocity with the comeback. We're going to a that map is on number three. Three with their lives on the table. Gentlemen, what a series that was. That Arctic blast up in the northern part of, the, of America, <laughs> that traveled down here, because I got goosebumps all <laughs> over right now. I'm just chilled to the core by that. And you hear the crowd behind us erupting for reciprocity. They now have the crowd on their side. All the momentum has yep. shifted into their favor. But Ryan, you spoke about it in the pregame predictions. Harbor, oh no. <laughs> Harbor is going to be a good one, but I still want to go back and talk about impact there. What a comeback by Reciprocity. What I want to talk about, though, is the adjustment they made on the boom fight. You saw in the first half and into the second half, Mazer Gaming was running all over their side of the map and securing boom shot. So what did Reciprocity do? Reciprocity took a step back, stopped trying to contest that fight. I want to give a huge shout out to Lava. What they would do is they'd basically wait for those players to come around, and they would literally turn, especially Soto would turn towards Big Door 2, and instantly drill those players down and no longer let them go around and get the first blood kills. Lava had a huge map. I think Lava had close to 20 downs 
over at that boom fight. Huge, huge win by our veteran team on Reciprocity. But Ryan, Reci what have we spoken about before? Sorry to cut you off, Fallout, but historically, this Mazer team, they're known to be choke artists. And Ryan, we've always said they've always wound up in a 6-7 scenario, and what happens? I said at the Invitational, I said it here. This team, to me, is so good, and they have the potential to beat so many teams, but they have so many inconsistencies, and we see them time and time again Optic, come up short on Sundays. They had such a commanding lead, literal match point, and we see them give five straight rounds. Now, to Colin's point, we do have Harbor coming up. Harbor is a very strong map for Mazer Gaming, so I am in no way, shape, or form counting this team out, but I need to see some young players show some veteran composure here because they have to bounce back like something fierce. Yeah, we will, of course, have all the time in the world to break down map number three, but let's talk about that map two. Reciprocity proves why Gears Esports is the most hype title in the world by securing a near reverse sweep to force a game number three and keep their lives on the line here. Ryan, break down what happened. What was the collapse that Mazer HQ saw? Yeah, so to me, Mazer in the beginning, like I said, they were they were running all over Reciprocity side of the map. They got so many first bloods out of Boom. I do want to point out one round. I don't know if you guys caught this at home. Uh, it was the camera was on Kenny. Mazer threw a fantastic smoke on Kenny, forced him to back roll out of the fight. Yeah. Xenon slides right into the boom shot area. Business as usual, goes to pick the weapon up. Instead, does the animation where you try to grab <laughs> someone over cover, but no one is there. Yeah. Lucky. Those seconds, we talk about it time again. The seconds you need are everywhere in escalation. By that time, they're unstunned, they're back in the fight, and then the team fire from Reciprocity comes in strong. Xenon gets downed with no boom shot, and then Reciprocity takes the round. Is that another one of those alternate uh, mishaps where if you're not playing on alternate, you have an easier chance to do that grab over the cover? I think it happens both ways. I say, I, I, it just, I think it's just an unlucky, I think if you tilt your stick up over the cover, the, the game thinks that you're trying to go over the cover rather than if, because you know, you, you move side to side in the for cover. Your camera's the aiming at, yep, if you're okay. aiming down towards your yep. teammate, you're going to get that revive off. But wow, what a mishap for Mazer. Their inability to close things out on Sunday has really been the story of this squad all of season two. Ryan, in your eyes, was the weapon decision the last round in round 13 to place an M-bar and replace of the X? Was that the right call? Because we didn't see a strategy follow up to grab that M-bar. Yeah, I mean, I think that the, the round started off as kind of a stalemate, right? Because there was so much going on in the map. You saw Reciprocity start to maybe toy with the idea of sending a, a 2v1 over to the, what is the traditional 1v1 side over on the snipe area. But again, round 13, tensions get high. You can start to see that stalemate sort of develop. And then you saw Reciprocity get the first down. That was yeah. a key. Basically, in a stalemate, the, the first down is the equivalent to a first blood in the regular round, right? Yeah. So Reciprocity got that first down. And again, they used great team fire. I want to continue to give a shout out to Lava for his great Lancer nice. play there. They were able to get the down command or sorry, collapse on it, that led them to the second kill, and then again, on these spawns with that long, you know, once you start to get those kills and they start to become an avalanche, it's yeah. over from there. It almost felt like an old school execution round, that round 13. Boy, yeah. that's the beauty of escalation in this game mode when it gets to the late rounds. Gentlemen, you called the action. What did you see in that last round that didn't go so well, well for Mazer? That's the last round. So Mazer, I've always said, I say it every time on Fight Night, there's a difference between playing to win and playing not to lose that stands still, it was granted. We all knew it was going to happen, but Mazer was scared to push. Once Reciprocity won those two rounds, Mazer, you saw them being a little bit more hesitant in their pushes. Their initial rounds weren't as strong anymore, but Reciprocity, with all the motivation and all the momentum behind them, they made the first down, they got the first down, got the first kill, and it was over from there, like Ryan said. Well, yeah, Reciprocity loses map number one in round 13. Well, they reciprocate in round in map number two by winning a round 13 of their own. Let's go ahead and take a look and learn a little bit more about this Reciprocity squad. You want me to answer more questions okay. for you because you throw? From round one to make is sure that what you were trying to tell me? I wanted yeah, you to get back at all. Oh, I hate when I hate when we get focused this side. Be like a silent assassin. My plan for overcoming it is just keeping to myself, being the first one in, last one out. Uh, like when it comes to warming up and playing my matches and making sure I'm prepared, and that's that's all I plan to do. I'm not here as uh, someone who's trying to be social with others or someone who's trying to you know hang out with friends or something. Like I, I'm just here to play the game and, and do my job. This is about me and you know the five people on my team, and that's that's it. And just uh, do my role and you know hit the shots I need to, and uh, just let everybody else do the hyping up.
There you go, a look in to Lava and Demo, of course, of Reciprocity. The Bounce Brothers are back on House one squad, bounce. and they're playing House, House of Bounce. House of bounce. And Lava as well, they give them the three yep, Bounce yep, Brothers. Yep, yep, Lava, Kenny, and Demo are the, the House of Bounce back in Gears 3. They, <laughs> must have, they must have some new couches in there, though. Surely they had to have updated it by the time they got to Game 4 <laughs> now, right? Well, it looks like map number three to decide it all is ready to go. Can you believe how we've started our championship Sunday here at Gears Pro Circuit, Mexico City? Boy, the gameplay has not disappointed, and I think we are in for a tremendous map number three. The winner of this match will, of course, go on to play against Simplicity. Meanwhile, Space Station versus Ghost Gaming will be our next match on the main stage. Boy, all three of those matches, including this one, get me excited and get me on the edge of my seat here. Fallout, can you believe that Colin said this was going to go to reciprocity in the 2-0? You know, Colin, you're my friend and all, but what He has confidence to demo bounce, and I respect that <laughs> tremendously. No, but this has been an amazing series so far. It really far. has been. You called 2 1 major, didn't you? He two did. One you called 2 0, did you? No, no Ryan he, and I. 2 1. Two one. Said two we'll, one see, major. we'll see who ends up correct here. I want to throw a little history three. lesson out there, though. <laughs> Last time Reciprocity was on a map number three, they had Affinity behind them. They, he made some great late game calls. Maybe they still got that knowledge up in there. Maybe Indeed. they can still make some of these good late game calls and win a map number three. Well, of course, they weren't able to close out map number one. We'll see if Reciprocity can do it in map number three, or will Mazer HQ, led by Sneaky, be able to close this one out? Map number three to kick off Championship Sunday. Gentlemen, the floor is yours. Colin, it is a pleasure to commentate alongside your beautiful country voice, but kicking things off on the tiebreaker game. Take a look at a 1v1 at the bottom of the map. That's going to be Lava and Zenon, but already vital sound from Reciprocity getting the first kill on Hezzy, making a statement, and we are tied one hill to one. Hezzy went big on this map yesterday for Mazer Gaming every time they played it. JC Lava getting a kill on Zenon, but exclusive on the flank. Gets demo bounce off of the that pipeline right there in the sewer area. He's going to go back to the mid-cut, so... The B Hill will yet to be capped, and it looks like Mazer will have all the sight lines necessary, and it looks like they will threaten a triple cap early in this first round, but it will be denied because I believe Kenny's over there. Kenny was hiding the whole time and over the wind chariot. a little bit of game, a hide and go seek, baby. Yeah, Kenny was hiding the whole time in the wind chariot, able to rotate around once he saw all of Mazer going for the triple cap. But now, fighting for his life, the job was done well. Kenny brought off time, made sure his teammates were able to spawn out and save the round from a domination. So Mazer has to fight back and apply the pressure. But Sneak, he's going to run into a 1v2, thinking it's a 1v1 against Demo. Demo dies. Sneak is, no, he's not picked up yet. Zenon picking up a kill on Soto, but Sam fighting for his life, taking out exclusive in a 1v1. Can he get a second? No. Zenon finishes that off. Vital Sam was left to his own accords there. You see these two members of Reciprocity. They've come back all spawn here. They're going to be setting up to, for a little bit of a defensive stand because you cannot let those three members of Mazer continue to Wolfpack at your home hill. You got to reset it a little bit here, Vel. You got to take a deep breath again. Just past the 100 point mark for Mazer Gaming. And your Reciprocity, you have plenty of time to get some breaks and get some hills. You don't have too much time. Once this hits the 140 mark, this is where the other team that's down one hill to two, they're going to have to make a push because you do not want to put yourself in a situation to where, okay, we have to fight for a three cap in the very last seconds of the game. So taking a look at the overview of the map, we're pretty much looking at a standstill and reciprocity. They're going to have to attack, and this is what we're going to see. Sam and Lava pushing up together to make sure that they get this stern and wind area, cleaning out members from Mazer. The Mazer. Rotating back to the C hill, you see pressure being applied towards the B. Soto now decapping the B hill with all five players alive. Mazer, they're giving up all of this real estate for reciprocity, and now one hill is all they need to secure the win. And that's a great job by Mazer, not giving up any lives, playing for their life late in this round. They're playing late game rounds right here. You cannot collapse though, because you know that reciprocity is probably going to push into you because they need the hill break. They need it most definitely. Oh, demo, here demo comes got the call out. Demo got the down. You got to get the Still down, Demo. Down. There you go. Demo's going to have to roll over there to get to the CEO oh. to help Kenny out. That took a little too long for Demo Bounce to get there to help his teammate out. If they get a kill here on Demo, it's all over. I think they're going to be able to cap it, but in comes Lava. Lava here. Last oh, member oh. to try to try to do something here. He's going to go for the one-shot kill. He Lava. misses. Lava. He misses. B no, no, no. cap. B Hill's getting cap. Oh, this is going to be a Lava unable to win the 1v1. That would have for sure given Reciprocity the win that they needed to kick Things off here in the tie breaker map. And it's going to be a 1 0 lead from Mazer already starting hot in a great back and forth fight. 
So right there, even if Lava had won that 1v1, I don't think it would have been enough time off the clock because the B-Hill was getting capped already. That was like a 15-second 1v1, Colin. It was forever. They were playing that <laughs> so still. They were trying their best to get that one hit of Quitta, and it didn't come through until the last second. You saw him finally get that down. Both of them kind of strafing around. That was a classic fight, not too much bouncing. They both trying to make that one shot count. Finally, somebody came through and actually connected. There goes the double block on home hills, though, that, by ain't reciprocity. That, ain't that your favorite? Always. Hate to see it. <laughs> yeah, hate to see it. I hate to see it. Soto starting off cold, 0-3, but the support player for reciprocity, sometimes he starts off hot later on in the game, coming midway, and he makes pretty big kills to clutch out for his team, but it's all going to matter right here on the very last map for one of these teams. Bazidin with the overaggression in the 1v1, and Vital once again getting the first blood on Mortifies, getting him out of here. So now reciprocity with the lead. You're going to see the aggression sneak. Zenon in exclusive, the last player is alive. Sneak has to do a bit of a goal line stand here while he waits for his teammates to come back off respawn, but people are still falling to the members of Reciprocity who continue to encroach on this home hill. Amazing Gaming is Amazing Gaming. is going to have to make something happen. Downs coming out left and right. They are getting picked off one at a time, making them go down, making them get the revive, making them waste time. Vital Look at the pressure. Vital and Kenny are just living forever on the backside of that home hill. Demo was all the way up in the spawn Look at of Mazer. <laughs> and he gets another kill. That's four wiped off the map. And Morty's down. Go for the hill, Demo. Go for the That's hill. It. Don't get the kill. Go, there you go, Demo. There you go. Reciprocity answers back with a round of their own. Demo going big in a 1v1. And with the undefeated pressure, Reciprocity coming back, making sure Mazer understands this is going to go down to the wire. Colin, I have a feeling. I have a feeling we're going to see another 6-7, our third 6-7 between these two teams. I have a feeling that I'm going to have a heart attack. <laughs> you and I, I we're going to sound like frogs tomorrow. Our voices, I cannot, all this screaming, I love boy, it. Boy, I, I can't take it. I can't <laughs> take it. I didn't bring my baby aspirin with me, try to make sure I'm all right. <laughs> if I go down, just roll me off main stage because this is too intense. It is too much right now, but I can't get enough of it either. I love that they put the long shot up top at the stern area yes. because Mazer's been historically getting there first, even though Hezzy's dying at the winch. Yes. They're historically getting to the long shot first, so that could spell good news for them. Oh, Vital running up. Mortify scared. He has been the first blood victim of Vital for the last two rounds. So with the respect that he was giving, Sam from Reciprocity, Sam able to get the sniper rifle and the headshot, taking out Sneak. But now he's looking for the second with the Stern and Witch area in control of Reciprocity. Oh, the body shot on Mortifies. Soto still loses the 1v1. But the down half is Kenny. He's going to run in and try to get the kill in time. Mortify's got Soto, and he goes down. Kenny's not going to make it there in time. You see Vital try to look over that cover oh, to get the kill, no. and you see Kenny actually gets cleaned off himself. So now two members in the middle. He goes for a little cheeky angle, but it's not enough. He can't sneak that bullet through there to get that kill. Shoot the shot. Vital with Mortify's head in his sights, unable to land it. But that Lancer fire is going to be so critical because every time you're sc scoped in with the sniper rifle, whenever you get hit, your screen jumps just a little bit to knock you off your balance. So Mortifies is safe for now. Shaky cam, Mortifies is safe. And you see Vital trying to overlook that B-Hill. He's trying to pick off somebody's head. And you see he keeps getting the marks, which is good because it's intel. But at the same time, you're going to have to get some kills here soon, boys, because you got a 5v5 again. And keep count of the timer. This next long shot, the sniper rifle should be up in about another minute, Colin. So this is where both teams should fight for dominance over real estate over in this top stern and winch area. And you see Hezzy and Zenon already getting into position. Kenny and Lava Bounce throwing a smoke grenade to make sure that they can stop rolling the back and forth. They don't have any marks, so they don't exactly know. There goes the first one. They finally know where Zenon is. But you see Kenny goes down. Hezzy's going to have a free pick there on that secondary long shot. You see Morty gets the kill on Demo, so the dominoes will begin to fall for reciprocity on this secondary retake. Morty gets taken out by Kenny. So you're going to have a trade there, 4v4. Both teams have, might have one or two shots left in their sniper, but it can't be but so much. And in the midst of the trade, the B-Hill was decapped by Soto with Vital Sam getting a headshot all the way on the other side of the map on Sneak. But it's going to be up to Lava. Lava gets taken out by Azzy, long range with the scope. Both players on both teams making huge plays with the sniper rifle. That is what we love to see. I thought for a second we were watching Pulp Fiction. He <laughs> shot Lava in the face. He <laughs> shot Lava in the face. All right, Sam finds himself in the 1v2 with the sniper rifle on his back. That's going to be backpack for now, so that power weapon is currently out of play. Hezzy, the only remaining member 
on this map. The only remaining player on so the map down. with the sniper right Here comes the wolf pack down at B. That's perfect. They're going to get the break, and they're going to be able to get that hill back in Continue their favor. Continue to apply pressure. Apply That's pressure. This is what you need. Lava what gets you need. called out. Lava gets called out, and he gets killed by Hezzy. Hezzy with another headshot on Lava. Lava's brains literally scattered around all of Harbor. There's not a point you can go where Lava doesn't have brains on this map because his head's been exploded twice. And Mazer has been relentless. But up two hills to one, 204, the 205 is getting close. That 1.5 point per second advantage gives Mazer the win. And the game came down to seconds. There was not a thing you could do after those two members got picked off in the middle map area and you saw that they were gonna get the B hill back in their own control. The big thing you gotta remember, they're still getting that 1.5 points. That's why you saw them just turtle up because they kind of knew. We don't have the numbers to push out. Kenny tried his best, his hand at the home hill of Mazer. Didn't come through there, so it was all over. There's no point in continuing to just push the issue and bang your head against the wall. Make yourself even more mad at the end of that round. Yeah. Take your 2-1, take your beating, learn your lesson, and move forward. With the nade being put down over in the dock area, that's going to be the instance nade. As Colin says, it's going to be for a little bit of crowd control. So we're going to see a 1v1 over near the dock area with your two home hill players. Also, Stern, we're going to have a big battle with Mortify. He's trying to get the quick pick, and he was able to get it untouched. Only eight points of damage down to him. Lava falls, Zenon gets the nades, and Sneak gets the kill. Sneaky though on the trade, so Mortifies with that sniper still on his back. If he goes down, that means we're just gonna lose the sniper here in these early goings, but Zenon and Hezzy last two alive. It is a 3v2, but Kenny is down. Hezzy's gonna be able to, oh, no. I think, push it. No, he's not, he's not. Smart man, but the domination is coming through. Hezzy knew he had to value his life. Zenon pushing out to make sure no swarm are able to get in the hill. The domination was denied, the sea hill being capped. But no, no swarm got in the hill, but that horde Savage Candor shirt, did. that locust <laughs> Savage Candor shirt did. Got that right, Sneak, throwing up a smoke grenade, and now we're gonna see a push. The duo, Hezzy and Sneak, teaming together for a long time here in season two. They're gonna push out Soto with real estate over at the top side of the map, which is going to allow them access to offer support fire all around for their teammates, including the B Hill. That's why exclusive spot is so important in this game. So here comes the smokes out. They're gonna go ahead. I think they're gonna have a free chance to decap this because you see exclusive up there on Watch that winch side. He's got Overwatch on him, baby. He's guardian He's angel. Him. That's right. I know I can go because I got some help from my friends. And you see the four members of Reciprocity set up basically in a straight line across that map. And you know the fifth is gonna be trying to figure out how to get up in here into this sniper spawn area. Here come three of them flying in. Kenny's the only one marked, but you get it down on two members. Two down. Now you throw up. Now you go in there. Try to bang out, try to get a kill out of this. No, no, back up, get the sniper rifle and get out of there. You won the battle with the downs, but Demo sneaks in and takes him out. The sniper rifle is still down on the map. Mortifies getting a double kill, picking up a kill from Hezzy. Kenny goes down, Vital goes down. That's gonna be four players down for reciprocity and the long scope will go to Hezzy. You know what, that could have been really hairy. The reason I called for them to go ahead and try to go for those kills yeah. is because you lost a lot of fights right there. You're threatening a triple cap, but thank goodness gracious that exclusive Demo. was there to play the hero. Demo made such a huge play. If Demo didn't come in off of that sneak play, the sniper rifle would have been in Mortify's hands right now, but Mazer coming back, the body shot going on Soto, Hezzy. Putting used to the scope and you hear that sound, those are the bells. The points are almost at 210 for Mazer. Reciprocity, they're Three gonna dead. have to act now. Three dead, That's two, all over. two alive. Soda and Demo, they're gonna have to do the impossible. Demo able to get a kill, but that's not what you need. You're gonna have to have to get a decap, but Trash time kills always is good on the stat line, right? That's right, it's always good on the stat line. Just pat them a little bit. Make sure your spot's safe going forward. But Reciprocity right now, they gotta gut check again. They're down 3-1. Are we gonna see that same song and dance with a 4-2 lead for Mazer going into the half? Can't will count them out yet. Will Reciprocity come back and even it up a little bit before the half? That's what we wanna see. Drop shot put down by Demo Bounce in the very smack dab middle of the map. So now there's two power weapons to play for, plus two grenades. So with the drop shot down low, that stern fight is gonna be oh so important now. Vital Sam, he's gonna have to have a repeat of the first two rounds where he got the first split and control of the winch. You're gonna see a much different split and actually you're gonna see one member each go up toward that winch and that stern. Vital goes in for a quick pick. He's gonna be Lancer down three by five, three people as he runs in and takes the head off of Kenny Bounce. And here oh comes, no. oh, oh no. my goodness, the soldiers Morty. are falling left and right. Demo might get the sniper, but I think 
Mazer will have map and power weapon control, but a big body shot there. He got him down. down. He got him down. Demo go big. He, he scoped down an accident and the drop shot is going to clip the kill on Lava Bounce and the down player, which was Zenon. He's going to be able to get up with all five players back alive. Body shot for on Mazer. exclusive. Body shot on exclusive. Can he get the down here? There you go. Demo that will be able to get the kill. That's a big kill. That helps you solidify a little bit of map control. That gives you a little breathing room. Demo! Oh no! Where's your head at? And he turns around and gets the shot on Hezzy. Demo is on fire. Playing a little Gears of War 1. You saw Carmine peek his head out a little bit, saying, I'm <laughs> safe from snipers, and pop goes the weasel. Demo Bells putting Mazer on notice. Running around with the sniper rifle, taking heads left and right, shotguns, lancer, and sniper rifles into snap matter. Demo looking for his third kill. I think he might get double pushed. He's going to get double pushed. But he has help. Demo getting the kill on Zena, and the double kill happens. Demo cannot be touched. No, Zena got a team kill. Zena got a double. Zena team killed, and then Demo killed the other one. Oh my goodness, that is a Stop collapse. It. That is an epic Demo's collapse. A dog. Demo. Demo is a dog. Look at right him standing now. up. Look at him standing up on main stage. The crowd begins to erupt yet again as reciprocity stands up and feeds into this electricity, ladies and gentlemen. You'd have thought we were in a high voltage generator area. The way that this crowd is so hype, so loud, clapping, cheering for all the big plays. Reciprocity seems to be feeding off of the energy like hungry dogs. This is the moment Demo has been waiting for all season, going into retirement, coming back out playing with his old bounce brother. And now, they're on main stage against Mazer, ready to put him away after that amazing comeback win. Coming back two to six on impact. And Demo is trying to put the game in his hands, literally, with that power weapon, the long shot. Let's see if Reciprocity still has it in him to come back and beat Mazer. Familiarity breeds comfortability. They're familiar with one another, so they're comfortable with one another. They're willing to shoot for each other. They're willing to take the hits for one another. That's a band of brothers. That house of bounce showing out right now. Demo showing why he was so pivotal on so many teams throughout all of season one. He gets taken out early though. Sneak, okay. that's a big kill. He's also gonna get that sniper rifle, but Kenny has the drop in his hands. He misses the easy kill there on Sneak as he picks up the sniper. So now Kenny is gonna have to rotate this thing out, Bell. He's gonna have to rotate it out, figure out where the numbers are, and make sure he does not lose his head. Sneak with a heat check, making sure Demo does not throw off the round hot, but Kenny with the drop shot. He's in the 1v1, and he gets the headshot in. Sneak immediately putting the scope to use, but moving down around the ramp. Sam fights himself in a bad situation. He's gonna get down. Sneak gets another headshot across the map, taking out Lava. So now Demo Bounce running into the seal. Sneak once more getting a body shot. Sneak is on fire. Whoever picks up the scope, Colin, they are going off. This game is going back and forth. Mazer jumping up to a 4-2 lead, but this once again is familiar territory. Hey, look, as soon as you, that long shot must have been in the broiler for a few rounds because as soon as you pick it up, you get the hot hand, baby. They're using it to the best of its ability. When you have players of this high caliber, they are able to make these shots look elementary. They are able to make these plays look easy, but it is not, ladies and gentlemen. This is the highest level of gears that you're gonna see anywhere in the world here in Mexico City. Second half starting now, the home hills flip, the timers go down to their bottom in a big fight for stern control as the smokes come out. Vital team kills no, Soto. No, no. Big blender as Vital kills his teammates. But on board with he 10 kills and 10 downs. He has himself a little double-double, but Morty's, he's gonna pick up a kill. Mazer starting off hot right now. That's two players down immediately. Make that three for reciprocity. Oh, Demo it gets taken out by exclusive Mazer. Catching fire on the second half of the map. Soto oh, also Soto. finds exclusive. Soto doesn't want that. He's Soto, gonna back saw the Soto saw the first that he actually let him run by him so that Soto could try to run up and get an easy shot on exclusive. But now Soto is out in no man's land and he will be down. So if they still have any pressure on that D hill, no, they will not. All three members that are up 
three members that were up were at that D hill with two of them rotating toward the stern, the other two staying down here at that first half dock area. So you see now sending a third member, Reciprocity will send three and four up toward that winch stern area. They're gonna have to win this fight quickly before Mazer can get help and get reinforcements. Smoke's coming in from Mazer. Big fight about to go down, ladies and gentlemen. Exclusive holding his own in a 1v3. They were passive, they were hesitant. Reciprocity, they have the numbers, they didn't act. But Hezzy, he's gonna back off his full red, but Sneak, trying to put in a sneaky shot on Kenny, but he was not able to do that. And this battle is gonna continue for this E Hill. The points are gonna be in Mazer's favor, 100 to 63. Oh, but a big down opens up the, 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 the floodgates. Sneak will get Kenny, Hezzy will go down, Vital will trade that out. Sneaky then gets Demo in the meat shield. He's gonna finally get paired. Exclusive will finally get picked off, and now you gotta kill Sneak. No, Xenon will get there in time for the revive. So no, Mazer Gaming playing perfect teamwork yet again. It Lava is gets such a Lava got the down off of the, you know, the trick shot and it ran away from the kill. Ran up to try to get the kill again, and then he got taken out. So with all five players left alive on both teams, Taking a look at a two to one heal advantage for the Cogs, that's gonna be Mazer, and the E heal is in her control. But we're looking at another push. Take a look at Soto, he's been tagged. Four members very they, close. They know it's coming. They, they know it's coming. But there's take a look at the line of the defense on Winch all the way to the bottom. So of the what third. you're gonna see right here is you're gonna see a double push. When they throw their smokes and go for E, you're gonna see that 1v1 down at the bottom happen as well because they're gonna have to force this issue. They're gonna have to get some breaks here quickly because it's getting out of hand at this point in the round. You should always be shooting at this point. Make sure. Your finger's on the trigger, Vital, he's in the back up, but you hear the sound. There goes Demo. Oh, there, there goes, goes the E-Hill, there goes the E-Hill. There goes Vital. Reciprocity, they're gonna have to move in for the triple cap, and that's exactly what they're gonna do. Lava with the over-aggression and the bouncing. He's gonna get away, no! He gets down. He's not gonna be able to get the D-Hill. So you now see exclusive roll down toward the docks area. He's gonna help with that pistol. He's gonna make sure they cannot push that F-Hill, because even though the E-Hill is broken, D will also be broken, and that'll be 207 points, and Mazer will finish off their fifth round. Colin. I feel like I'm having Colin, deja vu. This, I was just gonna say that. 5-2, one round away from being up 6-2, but reciprocity came back and won 7-6. So, Mazer, they're gonna have to learn how to maintain that control against reciprocity. Keep doing what works for you, but we're taking a look at the very first weapon drop on this part of halftime. They're gonna X out the stern. You know, you were gonna, you were about to say it feels like deja vu. I would say great minds think alike, but Bell, I don't want to insult you like that. Make oh, me Colin, think you, you might you, be you, thinking you, like you, me. You a bright man. I would love to think <laughs> like you. <laughs> oh, drop shot back down in that there mid cut go. area between Dox and Winch. So. I'm pretty sure, you're, even though you'll still see probably a 1v1 for that winch, you're gonna see mainly all four other members playing down for that drop shot, even if you all see all five of them go there. So there's gonna be three fights that are gonna be important. Take a look, the winch, the dock, and also the drop shot. The winch is gonna be a 1v1, which is important for support fire, but also, you gotta watch out for the quick pick. You see Soto supporting Hezzy, excuse me, Vital. As Vital goes for this quick pick, he goes down, he fails the quick pick, mortifies. Able to pick up that kill, and now you have that wall of blue bodies. The COG team, the Mazer roster, they're making sure that the drop shot is safe in Hezzy's hands as he picks it up and runs away. So that you see Soto and Demo rotate to that E hill. That's a good early rotation, but Exclusive actually hits Demo with a headshot from the drop shot. It drills into him. You can hear the noise in the background. Beautiful play by Exclusive. Here comes the second drop shot, which stops Soto from moving to a safer location just for a second, so he'll be hurt. Kenny, though, Kenny, though, double kill, shut down by Sneak. All right, Kenny, the only player down for reciprocity and with numbers in her hands. They're looking to push this fight over in the winch area. Soto able to pick up the big kill, and now the 2v1 mortifies, trying to stay alive, and Soto picks up the second, and that's gonna be it for reciprocity, and they have the e heal. So with the 2 to 1 heal lead, they're gonna have to learn how to maintain Mazer, something they've had trouble with in the past. They're gonna have to control their emotions here. You gotta take a deep breath. You're up 5-2, you have a round lead. You don't even think about map number two. That never gets mentioned once in the comms. All you think about is let's get our numbers. We'll do the same exact thing they did. We'll try what they did, but we'll be successful at it. We're gonna push this E hill very shortly with all these smokes, try to get some kills. And once they either break this E hill or get some kills, demo killing off Hezzy. So what you'll see is if they get the map positioning, they'll be able to get the secondary drop shot, but it looks like they will be fended off. Reciprocity will be able to play beautiful team defense. And Demo doing just about everything right in with the slip and slide. That's not gonna save you, Demo. 
You're gonna pick, clean up the easy kill on exclusive and you're gonna advance. Now reciprocity, they're highly aware, they're up in numbers, five to one, and the domination is now coming through. There is no chance for Mazer to go ahead and try to stop this and Colin. Reciprocity still got to find them. The old dog still got to bite. They got to try their best to keep going with that energy. You see nobody standing up for Reciprocity this round. It might happen if they win another one or two. But the crowd's still in it for Reciprocity. They know that they are at the edge of their tournament life yet again. And this map, ladies and gentlemen, is all or nothing. If you lose, you go home. If you win, you move on. And there is no bigger prize on the pro circuit right now than the $200,000 these teams are fighting for. But it's more than that. It's more Belly, than you know what it is. Oh, yeah. It's pride, baby. That's all it is. So exclusive, looking to put down the sniper rifle in the stern area. And you know what, Collins? Championship Sunday. Land is where champions are made. Demo Bounce looking to pick up his very first major land victory, starting here with the comeback against Mazer, something they're not a stranger to. There's a little pause in the game, a little delay. It's going to give us time to slow down. It's going to give both teams a chance to talk and go over some strategy. Which I'm glad about personally, because, boy, we, we needed to time to slow down and do that one. Can Reciprocity do it again for the second time in a row? We think we're going to reverse the sweep of five plus rounds. We're going to punch this one out. That's a big question here, Ryan. We're going to bring it If I am Mazer, though, I might start seeing some ghosts. I might start having some nightmares because that has got to be haunting the way they choked away map number two. You're here with all the control on map number three, and you start to give away rounds again. Yeah. You can't see those ghosts. If I'm their coach, I believe it is Vora is their coach right now. He needs to sit those kids down and say, look, I know we're all youngins. I know we're all out here trying to support one another, but he's got to give a little pep talk. You got to bring them up. You got to make sure the energy stays high. You gotta It's going to kill you. Ifs, ands, and buts, you're going to actually hurt yourself. What was that quote you said? If ifs and <laughs> buts were candies and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas, John. <laughs> That's yeah, the one. Dude. That is the one. Yeah. Of course, if you are Mazer HQ right now, a player on that stage led by Sneaky, Nothing but positivity. We were talking with Sneaky all weekend long, and he really said, look, this event is on me. As a leader of this team, I'm also perhaps the most toxic of the team. I know there's also some other IGLs in that squad. I think Exclusive does a lot of that work. But as a leader of the team, he said, I need to set the tone well. I need to set the tone from a positive standpoint. Well, the thing about Sneak is, <laughs> Fallout, what's that saying that you always say now? You got to stop being a finger guy and start being a thumb guy. The one thing that Sneak always does, he never puts the blame on his teammates. He always puts the blame on himself. After every single loss, these six sevens at the end of events, he always says that he could have done better. He never says anything about his teammates, so he takes every single loss personal. Moving forward, we all know now that when Mazer's up and rounds, no matter what it is, reciprocity always has a chance. You have to go in there with the mindset that every round is always 6-6. Six, six. You can't leadership. afford to give up a round no matter how far ahead you are against this team. That is true leadership. Boys, is this what a halftime feels like in Gears of War? I, if saying, it is, I kinda like it. <laughs> it's like almost like I can't tell like they're icing him maybe, you know. Like <laughs> <laughs> reciprocity finally gets, you know, they, they stop the bleeding, they finally get around, time to build some momentum. And a host possible. And <laughs> right. <laughs> Tactical timeout, baby. Right. 
There you go. Introduction of tactical timeouts to Gears of War, apparently. I was just going to ask, like, w w how would that go, actually, if we were to add maybe a tactical timeout, like in Counter-Strike? They Dota. started with one, and they actually ended up adding more. Obviously, Counter-Strike maps go much longer, but they added a tactical pause to that game. Escalation was pretty long, too. Yeah, yeah, I wonder what Gears would be like if we were to able, you know, if we had the ability to have a tactical pause ourselves. Yeah. You know what, though? I can see it now. Somebody tries to tack timeout explosive on Optic Gaming. <laughs> it just makes them angry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it made people angry when timeouts were added to, to football and other sports oh, yeah. for, at first, too. But you get used to it, of course. I don't know. Interesting concept. But back to this match here, map number three, and what a series it has been. Gentlemen, to you, what has really stuck out the most in this matchup? So I love the way that Mazer allows reciprocity to keep making the first move. It's like a boxer that kind of gets in the middle of the ring, goes for that early right-hand jab. He's trying to use that jab to create space. You inbox a little bit, and you get it down. You get it out. You go ahead and clean one off the map, and then they continue to push forward. I love to watch teams work that way. They basically say, all right, I'll let you be dumb. I don't need to be dumb right now. You can go ahead and come into me. I'll get the kill. I'll get the hill, and I'll move on. You take all stats out the window. There's no weak player on the map. Every player is playing the best that he has so far so late, including Demo Bells. Whenever a player picks up a power weapon, it is utilized to his maximum. Sneaky, getting body shots all around the map. We all saw what Demo did. Every player is playing lights out. This is going to go down to the wire, and these teams, they're, they're phenomenal. I wish both of them can pass. Demo is having a fantastic <laughs> game, really number is. three. Yeah. If you look at this stage right now, Demo Bounce is our most veteran player on this stage, as far as I can look, remember, at least. I got to be honest with you, a lot, of, a lot of flat goes Demo's way, but oh, he's 100%. had a tremendous series. Maybe that T-shirt, hold it up again when we're back on camera, because perhaps <laughs> that T-shirt is the truth. Demo shows up on Championship Sunday, at least today he has. Great performance from him. One thing that's been interesting is Kenny's been kind of slowed down. Obviously, it can't all be up there in the kill count, but Demo really picking things up has allowed Kenny to maybe focus more on the optic gaming support role he's play. Yeah, and kind of to point off of, or to, to go off Bell's point a little bit with the sniper rifle, we actually saw a ton of great use of the sniper rifle by both teams in our first half. It was actually a very, very influential weapon on that first half for both teams, and you also saw a lot of quick picks on both yeah. sides. It felt like every single initial back and forth was a quick pick by the other team, picks. and they kept getting out with it. Now, the reason the sniper can be important up there and the reason it can be important to get the sniper and get out is because we talk about how influential that winch spot is on this map the sniper rifle helps equalize the winch spot right you cannot be freely shooting across down the map if you know there's a sniper rifle looking at you and we saw multiple headshots come in on that winch spot so it makes you think that much more and again we've seen even today how much hesitating can cost you and the sniper rifle makes you hesitate no matter what am i allowed to be biased because of the fact that i got to see anthony carmine get his head popped off by a sniper again <laughs> <laughs> i just brought back memories for me i wanted to shed a tear for it I said, Oh. Oh, baby. <laughs> so pretty. Rest in peace, Anthony. Rest in peace. Don't worry. You got like 19 other brothers to back you up. <laughs> the whole army. alphabet. Yeah, the whole alphabet of brothers. But what a great game three it was. If you're in this situation, Ryan, as a coach, uh, what's your approach during a pause like this? Because I know myself back as a player, I would take this time as a captain of my team to get my team together, to talk strategy, to talk shop, get everyone in a huddle. Shot to Immortal Spawn, who was known for doing that with his iPad huddles back in the day. What would you do in a situation like this? Yeah, if you're reciprocity, obviously you're down on the map, right? So for them, it's it's about making those adjustments. They did win the last round before the pause, but it's making sure that you make those adjustments. And if you're Mazer, it's making sure that you do not take your foot off the gas pedal. You have mounted a good lead in the tie-breaking map. Keep the momentum going. Yep, well, it looks like we are back with some Gears of War action. Five to three is the score. Can Reciprocity claw their way back into it once again, or will it be Mazer HQ that secures the upset? Well, I can't wait to see what they do here because after that long timeout, I wonder if it iced anybody or if I wonder if we're going to come out still hot and on fire. Sneak with the quick pick, gets shot at, but a big miss. He's going to get a little bit of damage, but not enough for him to be scared. And that's not what you want to do. We all saw what Sneak did with the sniper rifle immediately turning around and scoping in, making sure he keeps Soto and Demo in check. And now with command over the map, Sneak is looking for the, ooh, almost gets the headshot on a player in cover. We're going to have to see what reciprocity has up there sleeve, and there you have it! Sneak starting things off with a headshot on Lava. So now the middle map of that dock area will be open for Mazer to try to push across if they so wish. They will have D-Hill, D-Cap. They're not gonna go for that, that cap right yet. Demo's oh, he, on that winch area. He's Demo's gonna might get his headshot off if he looks up again. He's, he's bouncing him. around, he's got his Lancer out. He doesn't have his Nasher out, so you know he's gonna be going for some shots. There goes the Nasher. He can tell the... Oh okay. my, he misses that head, he's that little cheeky angle. He's gonna go for another one here on Kenny. He gets the body shot on Kenny, which makes it so easy to get that kill, because as soon as he gets close enough, Mortifies 
blasts him with a full L trigger, baby. And this is where Mazer holds on to the lead with the two to one. He'll advantage in a power weapon in Sneak's hands. You're looking great, but Sneak, looking for another hand. In Gears of War, a lot of people stand still with their Lancer Fire Arm. You have a thing called Tunnel Vision in this game where you know, you're focusing on one enemy, but little do you know, there's a player out there with a long skull weapon there to take your head off. But with the drop shot in Exclusive's hands, he makes quick work of Kenny. Enemy oh, he's trying to drive Soto out the spawn to get down. He doesn't have to hit the shot, but as long as the splash damage gets him, the Lancer Fire to his left is going to be enough to down him. So you see Exclusive, he's up on that stern area, reloading his pistol, waiting for somebody to try to get their sneak. And Hezzy, though, both with long shots, and both of them will be able to stop pretty much any head down push by Reciprocity at this point in the round because it is all the way up to 150 to 102. And so now you know Reciprocity is gonna have to push into you. They're gonna have to come into the jaws of Mazer Gaming, and they won't connect with the first drop, but they will get Lava stuck in that cubby. Exclos exclusive doing a great job of utilizing the drop shot, getting a couple kills, getting some downs as well. So. I love to see how they use that, but it is almost to that 180 point. Ooh. Still up by 60 points. If you are Mazer, you got to turtle up a little bit. You got to make sure they don't push into this home. And the problem, the problem when it comes to turtling, you're relying your whole round on this one hill, but with three power weapons in your favor. Reciprocity, they have an uphill battle to fight with Soto leading the way. 197 to 151, the push has to be effective and it has to be now. Oh, has he on the defense? He gets taken out. It's close to false as well. Reciprocity getting three kills, make that four, able to take the round. And the roar of the crowd like a lion in a pride, so loud, so commanding. This Mexico City audience is electrifying. If you don't get up, if your blood's not pumping, you better check your pulse, because you might be dead, baby. That's the problem with turtling. You're all you're relying on that one hill. What if your kills doesn't happen? What if your defense doesn't I, hold up? I believe one of our co-workers hates that as much as I hate a block. I believe <laughs> it is our main man, Blaze, that hates with all his body that turtle defense. And it was like Christmas, reciprocity. They gave all of the power weapons over to Mazer. So with three power weapons, how do you allow that to happen? What type of mental breakdown are you actually having? But Demo on top, 18 kills with Vado Sam in front of him with 19. Both of these players going absolutely off. And taking a look at the overview ahead of the map, you're gonna have Hammer Burst in the dual spots. There's gonna be a player from Mazer that's gonna go ahead and pick that up. Kenny's gonna get that drop shot. So we see the first power weapon go in the hands of Wreck, but immediately Morty gets Kenny. So I can't tell if the drop is off the map. Morty, no, has he gets it. Has he gets it. So the drop did not get wiped off the map. It is actually in the hands of Mazer Gaming. But what are you gonna do with it? Demo being aggressive, dodging a drop shot. That was a pretty bad one. But Demo, he's gonna back up just a tad bit, finds himself in a 1v3, and he's gonna push anyways. What are you thinking? The easy kill is gonna go to Sneak, and he's gonna be rewarded with the long shot, and hopefully we'll see some more headshots. So you see three members of Reciprocity doing their best to play defense here on the D Hill. They know that they only got two members to be content with, but a third comes over. Oh, Drop shot by no. Hezzy, takes out one. So you're actually gonna wipe them off the map and be no. able to take back your home hill decently quick. Okay, so with the commanding two to one hill lead, they're gonna catch him in points shortly. But with the 1v1, Kenny, he's not even gonna get close to exclusive as he whips out the pistol, gets it down, and gets the kill. But Demo finds himself in a 2v1, picking up one kill, but that wasn't enough. He falls far away from the hill. The domination slightly denied, but it's coming back up. Five more seconds, but Mazer. They are trying to hold back reciprocity as Lava gets the kill on as the exclusive falls. But this has to be it. Vital has to go big. He dies. Zenin gets a double kill. This going back and forth. Zenin doing everything he can. He's going to bounce around. He's going to stay in that hill, though. Try to get pressure. Try to force Kenny to be damaged as he comes in. Kenny's going to get taken out as well. So Zenin will be able to roll up, get that kill. They're going to get in the hill. Here comes some more pressure. Demo with the smoke out. The stun will come through. But he will get shot from a couple of different That's angles there. It won't be enough. They're going to have to get enough. Another touch comes through. This is going so long. Oh, Demo can Reciprocity win this. Reciprocity playing for their lives right now. They are fighting this off. This is defense forever at this point with two members crawling around and down. Zena might get one. Zena gets another down. Zena oh, got another no. down. No, Zena picking up three easy kills. Kenny blocked off from his home hill, but the E hill will be captured by Reciprocity. So that fight is not going to be all 
for that F Hill at the moment as Reciprocity learns to spread out the map. But take a look at the point spread. Mazer, they're up by more than double, Morty gets they're up by double the points. Morty got a second drop oh. shot. Oh no, and Sneak still has the sniper rifle. So you see both power weapons again, and then there's the Sneak. Sneak with sniper rifle, so pivotal, getting a body shot on Kenny and putting him Get down. This is gonna be it. Two hills, they, they, they can turtle, they can afford the turtle this time around, but the E hill is currently being decapped, and hopefully we don't see what we saw last round as Kenny pushes in, he's gonna get taken care of by Mortifies. Vital unable to clutch it up. Eight more points, and that's gonna be it in five more seconds. Mazer, they will win another round, putting them even closer to winning here on the tiebreaker map. So, Mazer is at the threshold. Can they cross it like a bride, or will they still be a bridesmaid here early on Championship Sunday? So many times we have seen this same story play out. Mazer early on a championship Sunday going home, not having a chance to make a deeper run in their bracket. But for right now, it is one to one. They are up 6-4. They are map, match, and point away from going ahead to play. Simplicity, who's waiting in the wings, Valley. So a player actually asked me not too long ago, why such importance on the drop shot compared to the boom shot that we've usually seen throughout the entirety of season one and season two until now. And I'm gonna say that the drop shot is more pivotal when it comes to breaking defenses. You get more shots and you can bring campers out of cover for the easy kill. Look down there at reciprocity, Lava and Soto with only eight kills to their credit. 20 and 21 though for Vital in demo. So Soto and Lava might have to pick it up here in these last few rounds if they want to have a chance to continue forward. The weight of the world on their shoulders. They're going to have to be like Atlas. Reciprocity with their backs against the wall. If they lose, they go home here in Mexico City. And Mazer, they are looking to advance. Mortifies. He's going to push in, but has he? With the bait and switch, he comes in and meets the barrel of Sam Shotgun. So there we go, Lancer back out for Vital. Vital's gonna be putting in a lot of shots. They're gonna get the kill there on Kenny, and here comes the flank, though, from Soda. They're gonna get the kill. They're gonna clean up four members quickly of Amazer Gaming Sneak all by himself up there at the E-Hill with the sniper rifle. So you're gonna have to either wait for somebody get to come on spawn, or you're gonna have to try your best to just get the drop, get the kills, and get the hills, because now you're gonna push that drop shot up to Sneak. They, they cannot let Sneak have all of that real estate by himself in a 3v1 with it's the sniper rifle. Yeah, it's too Members late. already off spawn. No, a lot of eyes were on, okay, why weren't they collecting the hills? But you let your players in a respawn and get your home hill. You go and push the 3v1. You push the guy with the sniper rifle with the longest scope on the map. So Demo now pushing in, and the drop shot has been missed. Oh, we're gonna have another down, but Vital picks up a kill on Mortifies. And Vital Sam has one more drop shot to his name, and just like his namesake, that last round is so vital to the success of Reciprocity here in this round. All right, a little bit of a standstill. Sneak still holding on strong with that sniper rifle, looking to make big plays. Sam moving up with Demo Bounce, but take a look at the x-rays on the top side of your map. Exclusive, he has been tagged, he has been called out, but right next to him, you have Sneak still yet to die this round. I think what they're gonna do here is try to pull Mazer in. They're gonna go for that first drop, and he will get okay. the kill there on Hezzy. So they've broken the ice yet again. The smokes will come out, but I think Mazer is just going to rotate back. They're gonna wait yet again for another reset. That is a pivotal drop by Vital Sam, using that last shot to the best of his ability. But take a look at the rotation. Sneak goes all the way from over in the harbor, and he goes into this cubby area. He's looking over the next power weapon drop, which is gonna come up shortly over near the E-Hill. And now Zenon, he's gonna try to break the ice by running in. He's trying to get somebody to stick their head up. And Sneak, it works! Sneak gets the headshot! But Demo, able to sneak out with the sniper rifle. So now, we have two deadly snipers on opposite ends of the map. What's gonna happen? No, 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 but look at this, look at this, look at this. So they wrote, they get the sniper rifle, but they give up the E-Hill. They're gonna try to decap this F-Hill, so they're gonna continue to continue to get these points back, try to get a little bit closer in this match, in this round 11 of this map number three. Big shots on Zenon. Zenon's gonna need to be taken out here quickly, but he's gonna rotate back into that mid-cut area. Here comes Mortifies on a flank. Mortifies is gonna take care of Kenny. So now Mortifies is running around. He's gonna take it down and out. And no one's over near the E-Hill. The E-Hill is entirely empty. Hezzy is the closest one, but Hezzy, he's gonna get down in the middle, which is gonna be big. The F Hill currently being capped by their own owners, which is gonna be Mazer, but the drop shot comes down. 
has he getting the kill on Soto? And here Beautiful. goes the E-Fight. You got to be clutch, Demo. You got to push. Oh, no, you, you got a teammate there. You and Spino's got you and Spino's got it. They're decapping the deal. You're not going to get any points. This is massive for Nacer Gaming. They're going to continue to stay close enough in this. Oh no, they're gonna come in. Here comes Xenon again, trying to get a decap on this E Hill to try to prevent Reciprocity from continuing to get points. They do have it. Mazer will continue to oh, accumulate no. points, get closer and closer to that 187 of Reciprocity, but the E Hill will come back in favor of okay. Red. Now, Smoke out by Soto. Mazer with the double home hill setup. This is gonna be Daly with a score of 193 to 186. Mazer, they can win off of these two. Can they win off of the two hills, Colin? Yeah, they can, but they're they gonna can. get a break here. Oh, no. Break. Oh, if no. The breaks come through. Oh, no. The breaks don't come no. through. The breaks don't come through. 205. Rest of us. That's a process. That's a process. They're doing they it do again. It. They do it. They're doing Six, it five. again. 6 5. We go to a round. Oh, my God, round 12, Belly. I can't stand it. Do not count them out. Reciprocity fighting back time and time again. We have a game. Five to six, Reciprocity, they have to be perfect. If they lose now, they go home. Oh, no. <laughs> Playing for their life. They are hooked up to life support. Nobody has pulled the plug yet on Reciprocity. They're still beaten with every pound of their chest. Demo Bounce has all the energy now. The crowd behind Reciprocity, they're building the momentum going forward. Mazer Gaming has to shut this down or they will go home early in the first matchup of Championship Sunday. And Belly, do you feel it? Do you feel the goosebumps? Do you My feel the electricity? Do you My feel the excitement? Beating. My hands are shaking. My hands are shaking. <laughs> we, got, we, got, we got to wait for that oh, headshot okay. to happen. Okay, okay, we have to okay. wait on that, Colin. All right, we're going to bring it up. All right. But starting off from this round, 5-6, Reciprocity, can they continue to be perfect? We saw this map number two with their comeback, being down 2-6 against Mazer. But Mazer now in the lead, but it looks like their backs are against the wall. Kenny picking up the sniper rifle, Xena, and he gets the instant grenades. They're going to back up, and now they're going to look for that opening kill with the E-Hill currently being capped in the, the middle. Look at Kenny trying to get eyes on this drop shot. He's going to try to get eyes on this drop shot, but Demo oh. Bounce is getting rotated on. Demo Bounce got rotated on. He has to know. He has to know. Here's four members very close together. I like his spot. Gaming. I They've like his spot. Know this. Kenny in prime position right now. He's calling out players left and right. Players are currently being tagged. Waterflies. He sees Zenon. He sees Exclusive, and he knows the push is coming. But exposing his position with the missed sniper shot. Exclusive is going to push in, take Sam's attention, and the E-Hill is going to go to Zenon and sneak. And with an instant grenade wasted, they are not going to be able to get a kill. What a waste. What is Mazer going to do? Sneak is down, but he's got members close enough to him. Oh, Vital. Vital moves up, and that's a trade. That's a big trade out. 4v4. Demo's going to have to rotate out. They're going to lose this E Hill 4 now, but it is still a 4v4. I am searching frantically for if the drop shot has been picked up or not. Kenny. Looking for that moment to get a headshot. He has a player moving up on his right. He's now aware. He's getting being pinched. tagged. He's, he's getting, getting pinched. pinched. Is he able to get the kill? No, no, no. no. Zenon comes in to help out exclusive. Gonna to do, they're going to have to do, they're going to have to rotate out of here. Nobody else can die. Nobody else can die. You got to play your life if you're reciprocity. You, you have, have to do to this. play your life. You have to get the shots in. They got it down. Continue to fight. Continue to fire. Continue to fire. Soto, keep your lancer pointed for your teammate. Sneaky finally got right. the drop. Sneaky finally got the drop. So the drop has oh. been picked up finally in this round. So very late in it. Almost a full minute or so into the round. Here comes Soto on a flank. Mazer. He needs to get that kill. Get the kill. Clean him up. Now you get exclusive. Now you get exclusive. With a failed attempt for going for the triple cap, Soto comes from behind, gets a double kill basically, but Sneak able to clean him out. But take a look at the bottom of your screen. Zenon, the best sniper in the game, finally gets the sniper rifle. They're going, they gotta get this break. Lava is trying his best to get this break. Sneaky rolling back. He's still got the drop shot on his back, so he's gonna pull out his pistol for just now. Sneaky's gonna shoot another drop in. Lava rotates out of that again, so he will get this break. They will get this break. They'll continue to maintain point lead for a moment's notice. The members come off spawn though for Mazer Gaming, and they're gonna be able to push him out right immediately. You see Kenny and Demo though taking back control of this E Hill. This teeter totter is going to throw somebody off here very shortly. Kenny moving in towards the E Hill. He sees one player tagged. He's with Demo. They were unaware of him. Exclusive runs in and immediately gets Lancer down. But Demo gets hit with a sniper shot. Zenith able to get the cheeky body shot. Demo full red right now. But with the he's insist, gonna burn up. He's gonna Demo, burn up. he's going to burn to a crisp. 
No, turning on the oven, turning on the pressure cooker, setting fire to Demo Bounds. He's gonna die in that corner, caught between a rock and a hard place. You're gonna have to see the members of Reciprocity rotate around because they are not safe yet. They are not out of the woods. Kenny Bounce on a big flank here. Oh, this is big. This can win them around, okay. So with one hill, they can win, but Kenny, he's gonna break another hill, giving them a two to one hill advantage. Here comes exclusive. Exclusive's oh, going over the no. FL. Exclusive That's not gonna matter. They have to hold the deal. No, Kenny, back don't run away. No, no, this can be ended. The Cinderella story is ended. Reciprocity, all players are down. Mazer holds on to the lead and they win. 7-5. And in a 2-1 oh, fashion. I thought Reciprocity was gonna have a little comeback. Can you believe the map one, the map two, and now the map three that we've seen? I feel like I'm repeating myself because the gameplay is just indicative of how closely matched these two teams are. <laughs> Game three goes to round number 12. Games one and two go to round 13 for a total of 38 rounds wow. between these two teams. What a finish to this series. Ryan, what did we see in that last round, let alone that entire match? In this entire match, we saw a young team show the composure that we wanted them to see time and time again. We saw a team of veterans make an incredible comeback to force a game number three. And we asked ourselves the question, can these young guys do it against a team of players who have been there before? And they gave us a stunning answer taking map number three. We talked about it prior. This goes to Harvard. That could spell trouble for reciprocity. Sure enough, Mazer Gaming takes their strong map and takes the series. And ultimately, we saw in that round number 12, the team of veterans actually kind of fall apart a little bit. We saw two times they lost e -Hill control there. What went wrong? Yeah, so Reciprocity in that last round basically seemed to put their eggs in the basket of up top. They said it looked like two players up top to grab that snipe. Meanwhile, all the players on Mazer were basically on the low side. Sneak was forced to kind of go back because both Demo and Kenny are up there. Reciprocity gets the snipe. They get the top control. They rotate the numbers of top control, put their eggs in that basket, and then just give it up. They give away their whole They home absolutely home. gave up top side. They, yeah. they put all their eggs in the basket of up top and then gave up top side. We said it before, Mazer was owning the top side of the map, and they once again, they continue to retake it. They continue to retake it. I believe we even have a replay of a, you know, what a basically a good example yeah. of not only a bad hold from reciprocity, but a good retake from Mazer. So I'm it's looking forward to seven. kind of seeing that. I believe it was in round seven. Round seven, they have E-Hill control. They lose it there. And again, in round 13, that was almost foreshadowing for what ended up being their demise. They yeah. lose E-Hill control twice. They send two people for that 1v1, or the 2v1, as Ryan says. They grab sniper control, but they don't rotate through. Who, no. Whose fault is that in your eyes? Why, did the, why, was not the call, why was the call not made? I think part of it is that they had so much faith in their ability, their solo ability. They, continue, they went back to their mistakes of map one and map two. They played hero ball again. Hey, look, we got this. We can handle it. We're the veterans. We got this. We're never going to fall to this because we're not going to be uncomposed. And going back to the hero play, you're uncomposed. Yeah, and, and at the end right there, all of that could have been avoided. Reciprocity, they would be playing right now 6-6 for the bread tiebreaker map. But what happened was when Kenny went to go break their home hill, they took all of their resources away from their own respective home hill. So what happened? A player from Mazer called that out, and he went there immediately to break that hill. And I believe it was it was exclusive. Whoever it was, great has to play. But Reciprocity still turning their backs away from their only hill that they had was a big mistake because that hill was the only way they were getting points at the moment. And at the end of the day, your hat goes off to both teams for a well-fought battle. If you're a Rec fan, of course, disappointed, but you got to give your hat off and you got to say thank you for an amazing series that that was. What a comeback that was on game two. But if you're a Mazer fan, you're on top of the world. Let's go ahead and throw it over to the main stage for an interview with Mazer. Sneak, that was an amazing play up. I am so excited to talk to you. I know you expressed a little bit of frustration. Let's talk about that first. Uh, I was pretty upset with my teammates because I felt like we just kept giving them rounds, like throwing away rounds. And on top of that, I felt like we just kept playing sloppy and we weren't trying to fix it. But as the game went on, like, I mean, we tried the whole composure, but we threw a map that like really, that's a, that's a really, that's a mental tough loss. So we just had to like improve. So I know Harbor is one of your most dominant maps. You know, obviously being in that situation, do you feel that because of those sloppy pay plays that played a big part on, you know, being more aggressive towards the end? Yeah, um, we were really frustrated. Like, I mean, I'm really upset myself, like, I'll be honest. But if once we, like, started tunneling and, like, actually paying attention to the game and playing the game the right way, like, we won our rounds. We just was throwing things away. That can't happen. So what's the mindset coming in now that we've, you know, taken over this Harbor map? Uh, the mindset going into our next match, uh, individually, I need to play better if we plan on making a deep run in this. But as a team, we just need to slow it down and just keep doing what we need to do to win. But we just need to, like, keep our feet under us and not do too much. Like, that's our problem. Well, congratulations. Go huddle up with your team. We got more gears coming your way, so don't go nowhere.
Well, Sneak Mice Mustang is muy guapo with the, the amount of whistles and, and cheers from the crowd there. <laughs> Little did you know, Ghost Gaming was behind him, getting set up and ready for their next matchup. But all jokes aside, Sneak said coming into this event, look, our ability to finish is on me. Our ability to close and show up on Championship Sunday is on me. He's the definition of a leader with his approach to being a thumb guy, not a finger guy, and it yeah. shows here today. Yes, as a leader, every time the opportunity was present in his favor, I mean, in front of him, he was able to just dominate. Snap a rifle shot, and even in 1v1, just plays it, really pull out his lancer and help out his teammates. He was all over the map doing just about everything. When you sit with him, I actually love how Sneak looks with that Mazer Gaming logo on him, because that Tiger has got the most intense eyes you can imagine, and when Sneak sits across across from you, and he's talking to you about how he wants to play, how his team wants to play for each other, how they want to contend. He's as intense as anybody on yeah. the circuit. Sneaky, showing the type of person he is deep down here. And of course, talking about that match, you see a play right here, and you see some of the replays in general, as we saw, and this actually, was this a situation where Hezzy keeps his sniper out, and because of that, a 195 to 160 lead was actually choked and lost. In that situation, Ryan, what do you want to do instead? Yeah, to our viewers at home, when you see that, that they did such a good job with sniping that round up until that point. When you know the push is coming and you know that there are four members flying, you need to get your Lancers out. And here we actually see a good example of a bad hold by Reciprocity and a good retake by Mazer. See, Reciprocity looks very disconnected there. Mazer's able to get the quick down. That first down is the catalyst for the push. They get the kill. Hezzy goes down, but here come the teammates from the side. Gets the next down, it kills there. Then they isolate this player on the ramp, and then the player on E is left nowhere to be found. I know you see Hezzy die there. You might think he made a mistake, but him going down actually focused the attention of Reciprocity yeah. to focus on Hezzy, which allowed his teammates to push on the side there. So this is one of a few examples of where Rec was just unable to hold that E-Hill setup, which really you have a slight elevation advantage. You have cover to your advantage. What do you need to do instead, gentlemen, to hold that setup? What could they have done a little differently in round 13 and beyond? If you ask me, it's all about patience. When you got Hezzy down right there, you know exactly how long he has down but not out. That means he's going to be crawling around before he can tap back up. <laughs> Have some patience, big man. Stay in a fight with your teammates, then go clean up the kills. Yeah. Stat line isn't everything when you're losing. It starts with communication. And believe it or not, it actually starts to me with one of the most minute details in the game and something that players do as second nature, and that is getting marks on the push. You need right. to be spamming that button to get marks and then use your communication to call that mark and focus players together. That is one of the biggest things when you are in a hold is to make sure you're shooting at the same people. The Lancer is so strong on land that if you get a couple quick Lancers on a player, you can get a quick down. And again, those downs become the catalyst to winning these team fights. Yeah, well, of course, you're talking about the Lancer and use of our stock weapons. I see Node zero to our right, lead multiple design for Gears of War. The What's game up, mode escalation was designed around power weapons and the ability to place power weapons in your advantage. We saw that come to fruition in all three maps. It almost was the perfect example of the beauty behind escalation. Gentlemen, talk to me about that, the ability for Sneak to use those power yeah. weapons and that, the play that power weapons made in this entire match. Well, going into impact, we saw counters happen left and right. With boom shot, excuse me, the drop shot happening on one side of the map, and the team will lose that fight. The beauty about this game type is that you can always counter that. If that is not your best fight, throw a sniper rifle on the other end. Throw a boom shot, throw a little bit of something. If you don't want a power weapon that heavy, okay, put down a nade to control the enemies, and that's what both of these teams did extremely well. I'm proud of both of them. Yep, I gotta say, at the end of the day, all players on that major squad played incredibly well. He saw Hezzy make big plays, and it mattered. Mortifies as well in the late rounds, but ultimately, I gotta give MVP to Sneak. His ability to use every single power weapon, his ability to bully Demo in that 1v1 up top, you were talking about it throughout the match, yep. really made the difference. And ultimately, Mazer HQ is going to be the one that advances. Can you believe it? They secured top six. This new and improved roster is looking great. They're, of course, going to be going up against Simplicity on the side station. But coming up next, we have Ghost Gaming, the Latin American Beatles, coming back on the main stage after a disappointing round 13 loss to Denial. Can they bounce back against this red hot Space Station squad? The European Wonder Boys versus the Latam Beatles. Who's going to come out on top? Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with some more Gears of War Pro Circuit action in just a bit.